Hello, hello, everybody. We are going to continue our Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon playthrough. Last time, we mostly just began things in a neat little diddly D. Ah, Plipper Island. I wonder what that is. Wonder Mail. Yep, the jukebox. Ooh, change names. But yeah, I wonder what Plipper Island is, but that's for future other times. But, yes, last time we started our journey of Super Mystery Dungeon, and it was just like a neat little slice of lifetime, meeting up with Gabriel, our partner-to-be, I presume. Unless the game wants to throw a curveball at me, I doubt. Just it's, It has an interesting vibe so far. No idea what's up with the Behiim, or however you pronounce that. Rayquaza is afraid. Deoxys thinks weird things are happening. But, yeah, just right now we're experiencing just like school time slice of life. And we'll have to wait and wonder how long that will last. But without- oh wait, you wallpaper? Ah, huh, neat. I just, that's a neat little button to have. But, without further ado, we shall continue and see what weird things happened. Also, like, uh, I wonder how many chapters there are in this game, because we went through four already. Huh. I guess one thing I should mention before I forget, because the moment I click start, story will happen, and I'll be like, ah, and my attention will be diverted. But I find it interesting that so far, the only Pokemon that knows that we're a human is Nuzleaf. Like, and Nuzleaf is a slightly odd, little different, like, I don't know, it's like, because that's never happened before, I don't think. In every other one, in Rescue Team, you wake up to your partner and be like, I'm a human, not a Pokemon. Explorers, it's the same thing. I'm a human, not a Pokemon. In, in Gates to Infinity, you wake up, there's your partner, uh, your partner, your partner. Once again, you're like, I don't know what's going on. I'm a human, not a Pokemon. This is the first time that someone other than your partner is the one who finds you, and you confide in them and say, hey, I'm a human. I completely forget if Nuzleaf said, hey, you shouldn't go around telling Pokemon you're a human. I completely forget if that was a thing or not. Just r wrapped up in the whimsy of it all. Actually, come to think of it, Nuzleaf isn't home. Nuzleaf went off to do a thing, I think for a few days, if I recall, so, huh. But yeah, we'll have to jump back in, see what happens, see how long school life lasts, if we'll be forced out of the village, or if we'll, like, because we'll have to go to that, like, expedition society thing eventually, because we have to join a guild and make a team, although that would be an interesting thing, a mystery dungeon game where you don't actually make a team. It's just you and your partner Pokemon and maybe friends for various reasons going into Mystery Dungeons. That could be a neat concept, but without further ado, I hit the wrong button like a fool. The A button is misplaced compared to other <laughs> controllers. The next morning, I wake up alone in the storage room. I'm surrounded by boxes, pots, and rocks. Morning, Neon! I'm gonna go ahead- Oh wait, no, that was not happy. I forgot Gabriel is slightly depressed from what happened yesterday. Ah, uh, that is not meant to be happiness. Morning, Neon. I'm gonna go on ahead uh, to school today. I wouldn't want to irritate you by insisting we always go together. So, see you later, Neon. Seems like Gabriel is still hung up on what we were talking about yesterday. I guess I'll just have to make my own way to school then. But it's the same path. If you're gonna go at the same time, roughly as it seems, or are we just gonna sit here for a few minutes being like, well, it would just be awkward if I then went and walked alongside him, technically not together in silence. And now I, I think it's been a while since we could wander around on our own. <laughs> I can invade. This is Caracosta's mailbox. Sometimes Plipper comes early in the morning to deliver the mail. How do I know this? 
voice in my head. Hello, Terracotta. Costa. Hmm? What are you after now? If it's Gabriel, you're too late. Left for school ages ago, that one did. This is a much more furnished home. <laughs> At least it has more carpets. Nuzleaf's house is kind of barren compared to that. <laughs> hey, uh, hi, Neon. Hello, hello. The, the depression begins early, it seems, in this game. And I guess this is just the mass-produced homes. We shall invade because we can. Are you okay, Mom? I'm fine, dear. Sorry, I don't mean to make you worry. Perhaps I'm just tired. Recently, I've been feeling lightheaded. Well, that's not good at all. <laughs> this really is depression hours. <laughs> and then nobody living here. Guess they're out and about in the village. Oh, off to school again today, are you? That's what I like to see. You can reach your school through the plaza. Take care on your way to class. My fur protects me when I strike with a headbutt. It doesn't hurt even a tiny bit. <laughs> I think I think he's lying. Oh, hey, even... The voice of life, Hydrogen? What? <laughs> I, I was not expecting to see a Hydrogen down here. Because I was just going to say, hey, I, I can tell where villagers are in the village now with the mini-map where there are orange little dots telling me where people are. Why, hello? Hey, long time no see. It's me, Hydrogen. Huh? You don't remember me? Oh, no. <laughs> Am I being fucked with? <laughs> Is this literally voice of life Hydrogen? Like... Is that meant to be just a meta fourth wall break? Or does that actually have deeper implications? Because that could just be a fourth wall break, break considering what happened in GTI where Hydrogen, the voice of life, started to like, oh hey, the like looking at the player's viewport sensing our presence watching the Pokemon. So it's it's just kind of funny. It's like, is there deeper implications? Was this human us a Pokemon or like a human that was brought here to fight like uh, the bitter cold and got smashed up by I, I forget his name. I got smashed up by Mana's gang or something. Or is that literally just meant to be a funny aha fourth wall break? Hey, you're you probably played Gates to Infinity. Remember Hydrogen? I don't know. <laughs> this game likes uh, callbacks as an anniversary game. Huh. But still, I like the idea that this could either be just funny aha fourth wall break reference, or it could actually have deeper implications. It just sent me all <laughs> down a road. Cotton bird Pokemon, I am. My wings are fluffy like cotton. Well, good for you. Well, yeah, man, I'm gonna explore down here. What is this? Why? Why does this exist? Why is this in the middle of town on an island? Okay. <laughs> That's obviously going to be a creepy expedition sometime. But uh, I'm gonna talk to all the people, because talking to people is fun. Oh, hey, it's one of the drill birds. Ah, why, hello again. You're going to school. The school's up this way, I think. Go straight up ahead. You shouldn't cut classes. I like these little guys. Hey, Halucha. Have you found your Halucha mania yet? You child. You are a child. Nope, it's the same thing. He's yet to find his Halucha maniacs. But I always like to talk just in case. Boy, the enemy Pokemon you find in dungeons can be a bit rough. I know. The way they just attack you without so much as a buy your leave. I don't buy your leave. That's new to me. Positively frightening. As always. Oh, hello. Looking to pick up a little something before class? You're most welcome, of course. But do try not to be late to class. 
Let's see. Do you have any apples that I can buy? You do have apples, which means that I can sell any apples that are good. Of which there is only one, because the game was mean, I guess. But here, have my freshest apple. I keep forgetting that it says no defaults to it. <laughs> Pokemon in dungeons be like, fuck you, get off my lawn! That does make, like, that is one thing I don't think that the Mystery Dungeon games ever deeply dive into. Is they never, like, go out of their way to tell you, like, what those Pokemon are up to. Like, in the rescue team, there's a small bit at the beginning, and even throughout the game, there's like, oh, the Pokemon are being driven mad by the natural disasters, which is kind of neat. But other games don't really seem to mention the Pokemon in the dungeons all that much. Except for maybe, like, a little bit of Explorers with, like, the uh, Manectric slash Luxio tribe. It's like, it's all, it's kind of all over the place, in a way. But I guess I'll stock up on these apples. A Max Elixir. Do I want to get a Max Elixir? Hmm. I definitely don't need Tiny Reviver Seeds. And I also gotta say, this is the most Tiny Reviver Seeds I've had in any, any Mystery Dungeon game. And maybe they did some rebalancing, and they're like, let's give out Tiny Reviver Seeds more often than normal Reviver Seeds. Then again, in GTI, there was like, a whole, a whole like, drought on Reviver Seeds at all. Eh, you know what, I kind of money, I'll buy a Max Elixir and throw it in the diddly -dee. Since I can stock up on sparkling apples and sell them, to a degree. I don't mind doing that. We'll throw a loom. And we'll keep two blast seeds on us in case we need to nuke something to death. But before we go anywhere, we have to say hi to Mama Kangaskhan, who's finally back after one game. You know, it, it, it felt longer that Mama Kangaskhan was gone from just GTI. From Twitch chat, Tiny Reviver Seeds didn't exist until Super Mystery Dungeon. Really? For for some reason, I thought that if you... Because then, then again, I never actually used that feature, because uh, like most... Like, even if I actually played on actual hardware, I never used, like, hey, come save me when I died, but... Wasn't it a thing where if you got rescued by an actual person after you got KO'd on a mission, that you would be given Tiny Reviver Seeds... To, like, give you a boost to get through the dungeon? I forget. But let's talk to Mama Kangaskhan. Good morning. You're off to school. Stay focused on your studies. What about your child that's right there? Are they ever going to go to school? I'm always full of smiles. Oh, hey, it's an Eevee. I'll do my best. You do, too. You know, considering that my first mystery dungeon character was an Eevee... Maybe this is them, Eevee Neon, before they became an Umbreon. Deep lore! Why is it so fun, Zap? What is what fun? Electrocuting people? But I think that's all the talkity talking. So now, we shall go to school. I think I may be a bit late. <sighs> huh? Is that... Gabriel? Well, great. <laughs> What's happening now? <laughs> Did you hear that, Shelmet? This one here seriously wants to join the Expedition Society right now. I know, it's too funny. They don't like kids in ex the Expedition Society, duh. Don't you know that? I know, but maybe if I can do it if I try. That's what I believe. Maybe you can, you believe? Are you kidding me? What's so funny about that, huh? What's so... Come on, everyone knows that'd be impossible for a kid. And even if it weren't, there's no way you could get in. You're not even that good at exploring dungeons, are you? Well, technically, he's actually pretty good at exploring dungeons. It's just he wouldn't be good for escort missions. He left Gumi behind. Then again, I kind of left Gumi behind, but... Eh. Uh, just look at the stunt you pulled yesterday. 
I mean, maybe someone like Casper. She's at least got some real skills. But you! <laughs> Poor Gabriel. Again, that is not Ding-a-Dong. That is Clink-a-Clank. All right, class is now in session. Everyone to your seats. Gabriel, what is it? Did you not hear me say? Doesn't matter what they say. I can do it. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do it. I won't ever give up. I'm going to achieve my dreams. I'll do it and I'll show them all. Gabriel? Uh, what are you shouting about now? You have noticed that class has begun, hmm? Oh, hey! It's that motif again. I like, I like the... I like when Mystery Dungeon games have noticeable, like, motifs or themes that are repeated across multiple songs. They just really, they just love it. <laughs> What's this? Are you all right, child? You're beginning to worry me. I do like that far-fetched icons kind of leaning away. And not for the first time. Sorry, Mr. Farfetched. I've just got some things on my mind. He's gone insane. Yeah. I can't let myself get down. I won't lose heart. Ah, silly Gabriel never knows when to give up. Well, I suppose that's all right, then. In that case, let's begin another fun day of class. Yes, sir! If you tell me to take a break, game... I will be kind of annoyed. I just began. By the time third period rolled around. Third period is now beginning now. Today will be another dungeon outing. You'd think that they would give the kids, like, some breaks between dungeon outings, especially considering what happened last time. So it's just kind of like... I don't know. Then again... This is a school that sends children into a mystery dungeon at all. Remember to stay hydrated, everybody. Mostly because it's still a mystery dungeon. There are still other Pokemon they have to fight. I don't know. I, your illustrious vice principal watchdog, will be leading this special class. I don't think anybody likes him. Be sure that you obey my every direction without fail. Especially you there. Huh, me? That's right, you, Gabriel. Once a troublemaker, always a troublemaker. That's what I say. So no trouble out of you today. You got that? Now let me divide you up into teams. The first team will be... Drumroll, please. Honorable Mr. Watchdog Super Team. Let me guess. The team that isn't the Honorable Mr. Watchdog Super Team is going to have a lame name. Or just going to be... <laughs> team number two. The team members will be Esper, Dealing, and Neon. Well, this will be a kind of better team, but Gabriel is going to have a bad time today. Let's do our best together, Esper and Neon. Just what I was thinking. And the next team, drum roll if you please. Vice Principal Watchdog, excellent team. He's kind of extra. In this team, we have Panchum, Gumi, and Gabriel. Ah, take that, Shelmet. No double teaming on the poor boy today. Shelmet will sit out on today's exploration and simply observe. Next. As usual, I'll be taking custody of any and all items you may be carrying. Your items will be placed securely in a deposit box and return to you later. Would each team select a representative to come and get your item box? Esper, can you do that? No problem. I'll go get ours. No way I'm going. No, I called it first. Why don't you get out of my face then? Hey, break it up, you two! Didn't I just warn you, Troublemaker? Gabriel's gonna have a poor, poor day today. <laughs> From Twitch chat, yeah, the school is pretty abusive. They make children go into dungeons and get beat up by other Pokemon. Then again, maybe that's just like normal Pokemon life to a degree. I mean, in the, the Explorers games, y you get eggs as rewards from certain missions, and then they immediately hatch and like, let me join your team, go to war. <laughs> And from YouTube chat, school is at least implied to be longer, given dungeons are just like a class, like another subject. Hmm, that's also true. 
<laughs> Why does this class always wear me out so much quicker than any of the others? There are other classes? Hmm. I guess Badu, like, is a child as well and isn't in school yet. Or maybe is in another class. Who knows? My eyes are even twitching. Although they've always done that. I've just got to hurry and wrap this up. Now then, the topic of today's class is, in brief, looplets and emeras. Well, I don't know about these. Hmm. No idea. Uh, don't you kids know about them? Looplets? Emeras? I don't. Well, can I be surprised? I'll explain this just once so memorize everything I say. I think you should have, like, actual pamphlets to hand out. It's like, yeah, this is information you can re re look over later. <laughs> it might just be boring watching the characters learn math. That's true. And it's probably just, like, uh, the stock the next day thing that... Well, no, it's like, specifically they said yesterday we went into the dungeon. So I don't know. This is the Pokemon world. They do weird things. Well, kind of me surprised. I'll explain this just once, so memorize everything I say. First, looplets. Why don't you all open the item boxes I handed out? Each box should have three looplets. One for each team member. Oh, these look neat. That's a cool design. Looplets are made to be worn on the body. So everyone in your team should take one when you go into the dungeon. What about those, these dents on the side, Teach? Good observation, my young Shelmet. Those notches, as you will, are made to hold emeras. Emeras? Exactly. Emeras are very mysterious items that you can find scattered throughout dungeons. Find emeras and fit them into your looplet. Quick bang boom. When you do, you'll find yourself reaping mysterious benefits. All right, interesting. Odd things found only in dungeons that give us a power boost just out of nowhere. We trust these. What science has been gone into these? Wow, what kind of things do these emeras do then? I can't wait to see. Me too. I want to see some. Congratulations, Teach. You have excited the children. <laughs> Simple children. They're so easily impressed. It's a magical thing that you put into a bracelet that gives you powers. Anyone would be excited. I nearly let the class get away from me earlier, but now I'll just wrap things up before these scamps wear me out even more. Oh, you all would like to see some memoras? You bet we do. Too bad! You'll never see any here. What? Emeras disappear if you try to carry them outside of a dungeon. Huh. All right, that's, that's pretty cool. So you could never bring any to a regular place like this. Too bad for you all. However, I am your illustrious vice principal. A position far grander than an irregular old teacher. Farfetched, I want you to rebel and murder this man. So I will use my special abilities this one time. To send an image of what an Emra looks like directly into your soft, young minds. I do kind of like that we're, like, actually using Pokemon's abilities just out in the world. Even if it is a little weird that he's like, I'm going to use psychic powers to invade your minds and give you a picture. Here I go. <laughs> it's like he's throwing a fit. Whoa. This is how Emeralds look and work. They're quite impressive, aren't they? All shiny and glittering. You pop them into your looplet and bam! They'll trigger beneficial effects for you during your adventures. There are any number of effects, such as making you move stronger. However, emeras cannot exist outside of dungeons. When you return home from a dungeon, all of your emeras will have disappeared. Wow, Teach, you're really something. Yeah, I can really see the image in my mind. It's like you're a psychic type or something. <laughs> That's amazing. Really, VP Watchdog. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we're... Then again, it is impressive that he just pulled it out of nowhere. Where, where'd he get that? The real psychic, the real magic trick was hiding that from us. Um, isn't that just a regular old drawing? What? It's not a psychic ability or anything like that. Oh! D dude, Gabriel, seriously? How dim can you be? Man, I feel sorry for old watchdog. Couldn't you have just played along? Oh, I get it now. Gee, I'm sorry. At any rate, I'd say that was a swing and a miss for the VP. 
Do you think he was trying to be funny? I thought it was playful and amusing. Well, perhaps it's still not too late. Let's all act like we're on board now. A miss from me! But I never miss! Oh! It can't be! This is so embarrassing! Are there any normal people in the Pokemon world that are in positions of authority? Why can't Mama Kangaskhan work at this place? She'd be normal! Um, Mr. Watchdog, sir? That's enough out of you! I don't want another word out of you! Any of you until you're in the forest! Just make your way to Glittering Mountain and bring back those flags! There are always tons of emeralds to be found on Glittering Mountain! Use them wisely! Now get out of there and conquer the dungeon! Yes, sir! There's a mountain in that forest? I guess we should hurry and go, too. I get to take it easy today and just observe. Otherwise, I have to work hard like you. Good luck out there! <laughs> we should get going soon, too. We've got to find our flag and bring it back just like with Mr. Farfetch'd, right? At any rate, we should start by simply making our way through the dungeon. Let us go to the Glittering Mountain. Alright, let's give it our best shot. I'll need to remember to actually put the looplets on. Your party can use looplets. Press B to open the menu, select items, and then give to let a Pokemon have a looplet. Ah, and these ones are three spaces. But this is cool. Very interesting. So it's kind of like replacing the normal scarf and bow system, and instead putting, like, uh... Just like something a little bit interesting in there. It's kind of neat. Adventure hint! The item in the upper right is an Emera. Pick it up before the countdown ends or it will shatter into tiny pieces. Use a button while holding R to move diagonally. Ah. So you can make a beeline for the Emera. Ah. Or I could do this. A power boost. X. Uh, info. Holding a looplet with this Emera boosts the power of moves. Adding multiples of this Emera increases the effect. Setting it with a power boost Y on a looplet boosts your accuracy as well. Using this Emera as an item slightly boosts your attack during the adventure. Ah. Well, definitely for me. An Emera shattered! If you collect enough shattered Emera pieces, one new Emera will form. But if you make good use of R, you may reach an Emera before it shatters. Well, that's kind of mean. I was totally gonna get their game. Totally would have gotten it. Oh, good job, Esper. I'm still not used to my allies beelining it to items without my, like, input. Oh, damn it, I was too... I'm not used to the emeralds shattering. I need to be careful upon entering rooms. No item in this room, so I should... Let's go after this guy. We're gonna beat you up. Poor Esper, that's a poor for showing. I should probably level up moves that aren't just bite. Oh, patronize me now, game. A god boost. Holding a looplet with this Emera reduces the damage from moves. Adding multiples of this. Hmm, so basically, using this Emera as an item slightly boosts your defense during an adventure. I'm the one that's going to be in the front, so I'm going to be taking lots of damage. And I see more down here. Darn. I keep forgetting that like, I can just push allies around. I wonder where Emra Dust is placed in here. Or if that's like anywhere. Oh hey, it's a Scrafty. Hmm. I keep forgetting I'm, I, I can push allies now. Just, I'm not used to it. <laughs> We should level up my quick attack a little bit. Get obliterated. Good job, Espa. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I just gonna, like. I don't think I'm ever going to get used to like Emeras. 
because I'm just gonna be like, oh, hey, the, I could just meander on my way to that item and it's just gonna shatter. When you want to save in a dungeon, use a progress device. You can save during your adventure, and next time you can start off from where you left off. Vacuum wave. Focus energy all you want. Well, actually, I shall smack you. Get smacked. I Darn it, dearling. Oh, hey, thank you for welcoming me up. We'll come up here and... Ah. Enemies are coming for me. Might as well fight enemies to level up my moves some more. I think it's close to level... Darn you! But we will get money at least. Haha! <laughs> my fighting moves have upgraded. I can punch people even harder. Oh, Jesus, that's a lot of Emera. Trap proof? Uh, I'm not sure if that would... Hmm. Do I care about that? Like, hmm. Hmm. Well, let's, let's actually read it. Using this Emera as an item slightly increases your HP. Hmm, so I think I'll use it instead. Good job. Lullaby? What's lullaby? Holding a looplet with this emera makes the target go to sleep when a move of yours damages it. Adding multiples of this emera increases the effect. Hold holding a looper of this emera makes the target go to sleep when a move of yours damages it. I'm going to assume that that means that if I hit an enemy, it's possible that they could... Hmm. I don't know. It, just, it seems odd. It seems weird. And all the diddly dees have broken down. But the wording just. It sounds weird to me. Basically, adds a potential sleep effect to all your moves. Hmm. I wonder if I can replace, like. Emeras that are already in my looplet. Hmm. Petrify wand. I will leave you be. Ah, intimidator. I wonder what that is. Holding a looplet with this Emera sometimes makes the moves of enemy Pokemon near you fail. Adding multiples of this Emera increases the effect. Using this Emera as an item slightly boosts your speed during adventures. Sure, I'll take that. Oh, I can replace! Very nice. And then I'll give Lullaby to Esper. Give her some stuff. I'm definitely gonna wander around, see if I can find more Emera. I always like full clearing dungeon floors anyway. You fool, I bite you. Aha, you flinched. <laughs> Man, poor Esper, your side beams are not landing today. But it's a very neat, like, mechanic. Well, actually, I can push you. <laughs> Get on that platform. Get well. Then again, we were going to the next floor anyway. We definitely want this elixir. Let's see. Hmm. Do I care about the roll call? Hmm. Or the apples, or berries? Because these are mine. Honestly, we will replace you. God boost. Yeah, it's basically the same thing. Makes it so. Uh. I'll go give, give it to you. Get blasted. 
I didn't even need to do a thing. Espers are like, artillery fire, psychic power, blessed. But I do enjoy that. All right, additionally increases your max HP only during the adventures. I was thinking about that because last time we went through a dungeon and I ate a bunch of them, I was like, huh, my HP is going up. I think I shall munch on you since I have had, like, uh, since I have a decent amount of orange berries. Good job, smack them. Also, I just realized this is going to level up Gabriel's uh, side beam. Inadvertently. Esper, you are a darling and I love you. From Twitch chat, Emeras are my favorite mechanic. It gives every dungeon a sort of progression system even if you don't level up. It is a super cool thing. It's like a mini uh, rogueliking within it all. It's just, it's just neat. It's a very cool idea to add to the game. Power Boost X. So basically it just makes uh, it punch harder. Let's see. Hmm. I'll give it to you. Since you are artillery firing at our foes. A motherfucker stole my power boost X? Oh dear. <laughs> I partially wonder what horrors can... <laughs> could happen if the enemy Pokemon could also use Emeras against us. I think that would be a slightly neat and terrifying thing. Another power boost X, because I have X, you have X. Then let's give you X as well. I guess you could call this Pokemon Snap Triple X. Ah. <laughs> Isn't power boost X physical? I have no idea. It's like, it increases your attack. Maybe, maybe Y does increase special, but we can replace them later anyway. But it does feel like it's upping Esper's Psybeam. Because I could have sworn Esper's Psybeam wasn't doing as much damage before, even if that wasn't, like, uh, super effective. Uh, fucking Skarmory, what? What are you doing here? <laughs> What's Skarmory doing here? Dizzying stare. Holding a looplet with this Imera causes the target to become confused when a move of yours damages it. Adding multiples of this increases the effect. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Uh, for you. That would be a nice thing. I say. I say. Apple only for me. <laughs> I just don't find funny. It's like the mental image. Of, like, only the team leader getting all of the apples. Everyone else just starving. And we're gonna be looking for that money and other Emeras. Get blasted. How dare you leer at me. I quick attack you. I'm really enjoying the music, and goddammit. <laughs> oh, hey. Haha. <laughs> Man, you... What? Uh, uh, okay, a lot of things happened then. Let's kill him. A lot of things happened there. <laughs> I'm going to assume that Esper just used all of her... Like, uh, side beams up, and it wasn't like an actual effect of a looplet. Although a looplet that just... Destroys power points would be terrifying. But your our artillery will give it to you. <laughs> You're our artillery firing Esper. It is going to I am always going to forget about the push mechanic at one point. I get blasted. That is such a cool thing. I'm going to grab that in the future. Esper is making everyone confused. And, or killing them. 
I now uh, I'll bite you. Nom. And what is this? A toughness. Ah, so it's a uh, never can die. And the, loop, uh, the Emera disappears after you endure an attack. Hmm. Well, give it to you just cause. These, this is cool. This is a cool mechanic. And I also gotta say, really cool that they're introducing it this way. Holding a looplet with this Emera makes it easier to dodge faraway Pokemon attacks. Adding it multiple, uh, adding multiples, yeah, baby. Or increases speed. Honestly, there aren't that many enemies that are hitting us from far away, so I shall use. My speed has increased. How do you even use an Emera? Do you just swallow it? Please die. Quit missing, you, you bastard. What the fuck? Dearling, kill this man. I missed three times in a row. I, I, I bring Deerling in for the hit. With roguelikes becoming so much more popular, you'd think they would return to this again to hit the roguelike trend. Because, like, n not even just roguelike trend. This is just a cool mechanic. Because it adds variety and makes you think about it. And plus, it's, like, just... Overall, oh Jesus, that is a uh, set attack thing. Eh, yeah, sure. And then I shall attack from behind. And then I ran out of my vacuum wave. The voice of life really needs to get his children under control. I guess because it's a big room, the game's like that. Dizzy and Stan needs to have it be applied to everything. <laughs> it's a big room. This Emera needs to survive long enough. Do I care to get rid of anything? Hmm. Guard boost, power boost, intimidator. Hmm, honestly, I want to replace intimidate. Huh. I want to... Uh, let's see. Uh, where's the... Uh, others. I want to see the message log. Yep, this replaced. I wanted to see because it went by so fast. Ah, but replacing a Emera makes it disappear. Mm. So you need to be very careful on like which ones you want to use and which ones you want to use in your looplet. Gotcha, gotcha. In the confused status, the Pokemon won't be able to control its move direction or travel direction. The status goes away on its own after a time, but if you get into trouble, try curing the status with an item. You dare hurt my friend? Die. Haha, <laughs> get flinched, idiot. And an elixir for me, you say? Time for energy drink time. I would assume the Emeralds just break and the dust of the Emerald just scatters onto the body like how other items affect you in other games. <laughs> that would make me think like, oh man, I don't want to replace my Emera because then I'll just get Emera dust all over me. And they're just like, you do know that the Emerald dust just disappears after we leave the dungeon, right? Emeralds only exist here. It's like, yeah, but I don't want to have it on me. Barrage Guard? Holding a looplet with this Emera decreases damage little by little when you take multiple hits in one turn. Interesting, but I think I'm just gonna nom nom it. Artillery fire once again. I guess we should probably eat an apple. I mean, it's not like these are our apples. Why does eating an apple almost sound like opening up a soda can? I get it, it's like meant to be the crunch of biting into an apple, but it sounds more like a soda can to me. How dare you- Ah, oh, shit! Yeah, dearling, kill this man!
I need to be careful of that because... If I randomly strike out... Well, then again, it's just a basic attack. I doubt it'll actually kill anybody. Good job, Esper. Master murderer. You will be a great assassin someday. Esper is going to murder... Ah, oh, son of a bitch, it's a skarmory! Well, I guess there's no real reason to back off if there's not going to be any more artillery fire. Again, why are there skarmories in this dungeon? This is meant to be a, a kid dungeon! Ah, multiple... Super critical! Holding a loop with this Emera increases the critical hit rate with a, uh, when a move is super effective. Oh, but that's still pretty cool of like, I'm super effective against you and I'm going to annihilate you. Huh. Well, let's see. Honestly, hmm. I don't think I've really made many enemies dizzy. So I guess I'll get rid of you. Upping my ability to just annihilate my enemies. Ah, oh, I forgot about you. I was I got so hooked on just reading about my super critical, I forgot there was another Emra in the room. But the music in this is pretty chill. This one isn't as standout as other like dungeon songs, but it's still pretty cool. Thank you, dearling. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> Maybe I should have taken Barrage after all. Another dizzying stare. I shall just use you. Well, wait a minute. Maybe... Yeah, we'll, we'll replace your guard boost. Because I feel like my ally dizzying an enemy is better than them, like, having less damage to worry about. I don't know. It's just the feeling I get. All right. <laughs> no idea what a pounce wand is before. It's like, this is the pounce wand. It makes you jump. Something that no Pokemon can do in the world. Jump. Pokemon don't know how to use their legs. Big ears! Holding a loop with this Emmer displays map locations of Pokemon on the entire floor. Oh, that's cool. But I don't really need to know, like... <laughs> that's something I would need in, like, a dangerous dungeon. But, uh, increase my HP. These are just such cool things. I don't really need save progress. <laughs> Watch Hog when I get back is like, where's the progress save? Did you use it? No, I swapped it out for an apple. Why would you do that? Because I never use save progress devices and no one should. Hey there, Neon. Hello, hello. <laughs> we are on a field trip of death. Type bulldozer? What's this? Holding a looplet of this Emera prevents moves damage from being reduced when they would be effective or would have no effect. Wait, wait. Holding a looplet with this Emera prevents moves damage from being reduced when they would not be effective or would have no effect. That is awesome, mine. Honestly, goodbye guard boost. I am going to murder. That is, that is cool. That is basically, I, uh, I can murder everything. I can has ultimate murder. I probably should have gotten rid of this. Like a debuff. There were, <laughs> there were panels right there. But type bulldozer, that's so cool. These Emeras are so cool. You are going to die. Deerling is just... Also, the damage was nullified. D 
Deerling is just my tank right now. And of course, we gotta eat our apples so that all the doctors in the world perish. Always got a full clear. Deerling, you are a god. And that's the big ears. I shall just nom. Become big tank. So that when the few times Deerling doesn't soak up all the damage and just nullifies the attacks of my enemies. This is just so cool. I probably should have waited for him to come to me. Get dizzied, idiot. Level up for me! I just realized, uh, once again, Gabriel is probably just not having a good day. The poor boy. Meanwhile, I have the ultimate team of Deerling and Esper. Oh no, now I'm thinking of, like, alternate universe where the player character does find Gabriel really annoying. And, like, instead goes, like, I'm gonna m instead make a team with Esper and Deerling someday. And then horrible, horrible things happen. From Twitch chat, the music in this game and just about everything in it besides maybe gameplay is very slow burn, in my opinion. Once it hits, it doesn't stop hitting. That's nice to know. <laughs> From YouTube chat. <laughs> Alright, I've finally caught up with the power of two times speed. The ultimate power of YouTube. How dare you, quick attack. Well, it's just an apple. Then again, if it's just an apple, I should just eat it off the ground. Om nom nom. Ground apple is mine. I'm going to kill you. Shit. Haha, now my allies can punch you really, really hard. Or I can annihilate you in one hit. <laughs> Dealing grew to level 14. Good job, Dealing. Also, no wonder you were, like, just tanking all the damage. You're two levels... We, we began, yeah, with two levels higher than me. I must kill the bird. <laughs> Somehow, the peck went through me, around the corner, and into poor Esper. Intimidator, I shall just nom. Increase my stats. Become god. And let's see... And give it to Esper, so that she can be artillery again. Now I just now I'm just imagining that uh, what is it? That one meme image of a sh soldier with like a thousand yard stare that's just become the go-to. Just like oh, everything is horrible stare. But with its Esper, but it fits with Esper because that's kind of Esper's default look in life. What do all Espers see upon existence beginning? I like the personality quiz that every Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game has. Well, except for GTI. GTI didn't have it. Then again, there's only like... A, what the... What do, you, what do you mean, Imra Up Orb? I'll get right back in my comment, but add using it adds one notch for an Emerald to Luplet. Yes, me. I'm a special boy. But uh, back to the thought that, like, yeah, GTI didn't have a personality quiz, but that one makes sense because there were only like five Pokemon at all for <laughs> GTI. But I do enjoy the personality quiz, even if I undermine it a lot of the time. Instead of actually going with the options it gives me. It's just like it's a, ni a nice option to have.
Ba, ba, ba. But even if this music currently isn't just out, uh, just pumping in my ear, making me super notice it, it's just a very good song regardless. It's just kind of uh, low key. It exists, it does its job, and does it wonderfully. Haha, <laughs> get psychic, idiot. With the way it took damage, it almost looked like it just got shot out of existence. I wonder if we get to keep all the money we found in there. Also found $69. That is not good money for children. Watch Hog, you are failing everything. Then again, it's a mystery dungeon, so I guess you can't really investigate like the mystery dungeon beforehand is like, is this safe for the children? But still, the fact that it's common practice to just send your offspring into mystery dungeons for, like, training. Actually, come to think of it, the fact that a part of your normal curriculum in the Pokemon world is being sent into mystery dungeons Implying that it's just, like, expected that you are going to have to deal with Mystery Dungeons a lot in your life is kind of worrisome. It's actually kind of dark to a degree. Here are these horrible, dangerous Mystery Dungeons that nobody understands. They are such an occurrence that you are more than likely going to have to deal with them in your everyday life, so we're going to teach you how to deal with it, and send you into one when you are a child, repeatedly. Uh, I, I'm, getting, I'm not gonna get all of them, am I? Alliance expert, that other one just shattered. Holding a loop liquid this immer increases the accuracy of, using, of moves used in an alliance. What is an alliance? I want to follow the link, but I cannot. I don't know what an alliance is. I'm going to assume that it's like the team attack. We happen to get involved in the classic adventuring school trope. Kind of, sort of. It's just like one time we're just... Esper, are you trying to do that? It's like one school day we're being told the story of a guy who is trying to fall asleep. So he was counting Mareep. The next day, go and risk your life <laughs> in a dungeon. It's just amusing. Holding a looplet of this emerald displays map locations of items on the entire floor. You know what? I guess I'll set this since I have the extra slot for it. And now I can plan for emeralds. Barrage guard, I shall just nom. And now we go on. Ah, is this going to be the halfway point, or are we just going to finish? We've climbed pretty high up. Um, what's the matter, Esper? This way. Yeah, having the psychic does help get us here first, I guess. Is this... Maybe this is the peak of Glittering Mountain? Look over there. Those are... The flags! Also, this is kind of nice music. The little choir of... Oh, oh. It's neat. The flags! And there are two of them. Which means... We appear to be the first to have arrived. And we've cleared the dungeon! Come on, let's hurry back! Is something gonna happen? Are we gonna have to go in to save Gabriel? What's gonna happen? Or is something gonna happen to Gumi? Oh no! Is Gabriel and Pancham gonna get into a big ol' fight and they're gonna forget Gumi? I'm, I'm worried now. Impressive! Congratulations! Team Super Honorable Master Watchhog! Also, yeah, I, w I was calling him Watchdog before. But can you blame me? It, it's, it's one line away from being, well, I guess, Watchbog. But still. You put a familiar sound and <laughs> name in front of me. How dare. 
Huh? Or was it excellent team vice principal watchhog? I think nobody cares. Sorry, watchhog. Oh, never mind. Congratulations all around. Good job dealing Esper Neon. While on the other hand... Why is everything always my fault, huh? Because you're always so annoying. I can't focus at all when you're around and being such a pain all the time. And on top of that, you're always rushing off into dangerous places. To be fair, you're the one that pushed him to go into a dangerous place, even though, well, technically, he was trying to get me to go into a dangerous place. And he also got Gumi to go into a dangerous place. But then the second time, he was trying to get me to go into a dangerous place. Good Gabriel came along, but still. Isn't that what it means to have an adventure? All it means is that we never actually clear the stupid dungeon. Hey, I full clear floors all the time. You, that's not the problem here. My, my. Indeed, you'll never clear a dungeon with that kind of terrible teamwork. Hold on a second. Are those two, are they even listening to me? I hate this part of my job. Why do problem children have to be so problematic? Everyone else, please take care that you two do, that you don't end up like those two. I will be dealing out extra assignments to both of them later. For everyone else, class is dismissed. Off on your way! After school that day. Goodbye, Miss Ardino. Yes, goodbye for today. Have a safe trip home. Miss Ardino, I hope you'll give me some real TLC next time I faint in a dungeon. <laughs> so that's the trope in the mystery dungeon world, huh? Intentionally getting... Knocked unconscious to be treated by the the school nurse. As it is said by which one? Wacko Warner? One of the Warners. Hello, nurse! At least this one isn't trying to kill me in a dungeon like in GTI. Oh, the early Adinos were evil. Now, now, I'll have none of that cheek from you. Unless you'd like me to drop you off in a really frightening dungeon. Alright, so she's an evil one. An evil <laughs> nurse. Well, against evil children, I guess. Huh? B but if it was just you and me going... <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> huh? Neon? Are you walking home alone? Yeah, Gabriel's been in a bad headspace. Where's Gabriel? Rushed off alone again. I see. Well, then we'll just have to walk together with us. But why hasn't Gabriel been coming together with you anymore? You didn't come to school together this morning, either. Until now, I thought you two had been getting along so well. Huh? Gabriel and you had a talk? And you suggested that Gabriel might be a bit annoying? Hmm. So that's it. Gabriel is usually quick to recover from disappointments, but... Perhaps this time stung a little too much? But that doesn't mean what you said was wrong, Neon. You had to be honest, after all. It's true that Gabriel tends to drag everyone into trouble more often than not. Hmm, what is it? You want to know how we feel about Gabriel? It's not like I don't like Gabriel. Gabriel's always cheerful and fun to be around. So I don't dislike Gabriel really, but... I have ended up in dangerous situations because of Gabriel's adventures. Dangerous situations? Well, you know how Gabriel will walk right into places that even adults avoid? Gabriel calls it an adventure and drags others in it. It gets uh, to be a bit much. Gloomy has gotten a little tired of all that. And I don't hate Gabriel or anything, but there is a limit on how reckless one can be. Sometimes I just have to say no. I see. I didn't really notice when I first arrived here in this world, but Gabriel isn't actually that close to all the other kids. Then again, I'm also the one that runs into dangerous situations a lot. I ran in to save Gumi from the forest. I agreed to go into the mines on Pancham's suggestion. I'm not exactly innocent here. Harmony scarves. Ooh! I wonder what that is. The next morning... Oh, hey, Nuzleaf's back. I already forgot the voice I gave you. It was kind of Texas Irish. Oh, awake already, Neon? Well, good morning to you. Nuzleaf, he's back already. 
Sorry for leaving you by your lonesome like that. I bet you missed me, huh? I hardly noticed, actually. What's that? You didn't miss me none? Well now, that's a bit disheartening to hear. But never you mind. Tell me, you recollect anything about yourself in your past yet? Any more sign of them behem? Nope. Mm-hmm. It's a shame you ain't remember nothing new, but at least you ain't had to face any trouble here on your own, neither. You know, I just realized at any point that, like, in the mine adventure or the forest, the behem could have come for me. That would have been bad. And how's school life treating you? No problems, I hope? I'd feel awful bad if the other kids were picking on you or any sort of thing like that. Truly? That was my biggest concern, so I'm right glad to hear it. I reckon we might keep plugging along like this and see how things turn out. And for you, that means another day of going off to school like a good little student. Well, off I go. Gabriel didn't even come by to say he was going. Looks like I'll be walking to school on my own again today. What do you do? Yep, and either they're just gone or they're in the town square somewhere. We invade everyone's homes, but unlike Link, we don't destroy any pots. Hey, Quagsire! You do any justice lately? I can't let evildoers slide, hmm? So I punish them thoroughly, mm hmm? I wonder if this is actually a prequel. Well, no, because there was the kind of sort of canon implication plotting of uh, Hydrogen, the voice of life. So I guess, uh, <laughs> I guess, uh,. Oh, I already forgot his name. Quagsire has gone on back to being a justice-delivering individual. Hey, it's Miss Weavile. I'm the leader of Team AWD, the legendary band of thieves. My claws come out when I feel resistance. Oh, hey, Azuril. Like, are you actually Azuril, or why is a child doing this far from home? I want to taste adventure. Yay! Could just be a normal Azuril, but who knows? Oh, are things happening in town? Huh? Seems like there's a crowd around the village entrance. What's going on? So, how did it look? I tried to get a decent look around, but it was no good. They're all worked up. But it would all be worth it if we get some delicious honey out of it in the end. Delicious honey? Yeah, that's right. Out in Nectar Meadow, they're starting in on their annual... Uh, aren't you? Badu, Rosalia's little one. Honey-making season has begun, child. Many Pokémon like Beedrill and Combi all get together to make heaps of honey. And the honey that they make is the best! That is, just a little taste is enough to have me jumping for joy! You jumping for joy? It's a nutritional powerhouse to boot. However, they're on edge while making honey. Stay safe and steer clear till they're done. Gabriel's gonna go there, isn't he? Gabriel's gonna... <laughs> Gabriel's gonna suffer! Ah! Especially a wee child like yourself. It's best to give Nectar Meadow a wide berth at this time of year. Honey making, huh? I wonder what that delicious honey is like. I wouldn't mind a taste. Ooh, I got a bunch of apples to sell. Well, first things first, I need to manage my inventory. And I just get to keep the looplets. <laughs> the looplets are mine. And an Emera up orb. Hmm. I'm gonna put that away. Ba, 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 ba. Well, let's just look over. Could use an extra elixir or so, maybe. Ah, two extra elixirs. Welcome to the Cacleon shop. Lots of apples. 
that I shall sell my bunch of shining apples. I'm gonna become an apple kingpin. Rule the world through the power of apples. I like your voice acting. Thank you very much. It's just fun to do voices in these types of games. It's what draws me to ones like the Ace Attorney games. Where I can just do voices and have just a blast with it. Even if I then even if I then forget voices from time to time. Ba 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 ba. I put apples away. And uh, put money away as well. You don't want going out to Nectar Meadow this time of year. Just a taste of the honey from Nectar Meadow, and I feel it. You already set this line, you motherfucker. Let's see who's here. Oh, hey, Jump Love. Are you from the Rescue Team Land? There go the cotton spores. Found a totter orb. Shh, you can hear lots of things if you stay quiet. My cheeks and tail go zip! Good for you. Good morning. You're off to school. Stay focused on your studies. What studies? <laughs> Trying to not die in the world of a mystery dungeon that I get thrown into? <laughs> I like the idea of an apple mafia in this world, led by a tiny little applin. I forgot that that guy exists. Good morning, Principal Simapore. Good morning to you, Gumi. Oh, Principal Simapore, good morning. And a good morning to you, dearling. Good morning, Principal Simapore. You got a gate duty today, huh? So let me ask you, sir, why are you always smirking? I'm not smirking. I'm smiling, my boy. I'm just so tickled to see all of you coming to school in such good spirits. More important than that, though, class is about to begin. Be off to your seat like a good boy. Yes, sir. One of these days we're gonna open up and Gabriel's gonna be missing. Hey, Neon! Where'd you come from, anyway? The sky! Well, actually, no. We don't know where we came from this time. We just <laughs> fell on the ground. You know, you never told us. Ah, crap. Now I'm on... <laughs> Nuzleaf told me, I believe, not to tell anybody that I'm a human. Does anybody know where Neon's from? I have no idea. Well, no, I guess not. That's true, huh? We never even asked, did we? Man, I don't... Yeah, yeah, that's enough from you. Once you start, you never stop, so don't. But isn't that weird? That nobody knows where you're from? So tell us. Oh, uh, no way. Could you be... Are you from Lively Town? What? Lively Town? So that makes you like a city Pokemon, huh, Neon? So sophisticated. I like how they're just... <laughs> they're just jumping to conclusions. I've yet to say a thing. Nuzleaf hardly seems like the city type. I think you're on the wrong track. What should I do? They'd probably be shocked if I were to tell them the truth. Would have any of them even believe me? Then what's the real answer? Where'd you really come from? But trying to hide the truth won't really gain me anything either. Simple. All you have to say is, I woke up in the forest and was chased by Behiyam, and Nuzleaf saved me and has taken me in. That's all I need to say. I'm probably going to tell them I'm a human because I'm a fool. But let's see. I guess I'll try being honest. What? Neon is from the human world? Like a real life human? But you are undeniably a Pokemon right now, Neon. Why'd you turn to him to say that? Are you looking away from me? Are you snubbing me? What? You got turned into a Pokemon somehow and you don't remember your old life? What? Seems like it really is a shock. <laughs> Neon, you're such a liar. What? No one, now, who would ever believe a made-up story like you being a human? Nobody's ever seen a real human. They only exist in kids' stories. Well, yeah, it is a bit hard to believe. Oh, dearling, I don't exactly believe it, but I can't say that I know enough either way. What would Neon gain from telling such a lie? Esper. If you're gonna make up lies, at least do a better job of making them un uh, making them believable. <laughs> Order? What's all this ruckus about now? Teach! Neon's telling lies! Telling lies? Yeah! Totally unbelievable whoppers! 
Sometimes the most unbelievable things are the things you should most believe in. That's what I found. Principal Singapore. Perhaps Neon's story is not true, but who are we to say? And what if it is not a lie? Sometimes unbelievable things do happen, and because they do, living in this world proves endlessly entertaining. Considering that boat that we've already seen three Pokemon from other, like, Mystery Dungeon games, Quagsire, Hydreigon, Miss Weavile. Like, that proves that humans are within decent living memory. Like, at most a decade or two since, like, Explore... Well, then again, maybe... Per well, no, because on the one hand, every single time it's been treated like, Oh, humans, they're just a legend. However, could that be... And yet somehow everybody is surprised when a human comes along, despite the fact this is the fourth time. Because, like, Rescue Team presumably exists in this world, considering of all the anniversary references. Same thing with Explorers and GTI. Those are confirmed with Miss Weavile, Hydreigon, and Quagsire. And nobody, like... The all, like, I'm trying to think. At least the Rescue Team one should be a prolific human considering that that was an entire arc of them being hunted across the continent for being human. Meanwhile, Explorers, I'm not sure how widely known the Explorers protagonist was as a human. But, like, GTI, well, I guess same thing with GTI, only the, peop the Pokemon closest to them knew they were human, I think. Well, no, actually, the entire of treasure, like the entirety of Post Town, right? The entirety of Post Town had to know and had to know because they said goodbye to the protagonist uh, for for when they flew away. So they all remembered and knew. Hmm, I don't know. Well, to be fair, in other games, humans are not even known, but in this game, they're known as creatures from another world. No, I'm fairly certain that. Well, they didn't say human like uh, this one so far. They just said they were. Blah, blah, blah. Just, like, stories, legends, myths, and otherwise, like, same thing with the other games. They said human, but humans aren't real. Like, they have concepts of human. And only in Rescue Team are there kind of hints that humans used to exist with, like, the ruined lab and stuff. So, yeah, overall, humans are just kind of like, oh, they're myths, stories, and legends. But at the same time, this is the fourth time that human has... Well, actually, no! There have been more humans! Hydreigon brought a bunch of humans in GTI. We just never met them. And they all got smashed. But, like, surely there were a decent amount of the other humans who, like, exist in, like, Oh, hey, I exist in this world now. And, like, talk to other Pokemon saying, Hey, I'm a human. <laughs> so I don't know. Or maybe the news just hasn't spread here. Then again, these are kids. So maybe they haven't been up on the news. And because they do, living in this world proves endlessly entertaining. Not that I have any idea what kinds of tales Neon may have been telling. <laughs> the point is just that you children should examine things from many angles and hopefully have fun learning many new things as you do. Change your point of view even a little and you might see an entirely new picture. But now I believe it is time for class to begin. Mr. Farfetch'd, I leave the rest to you. Uh, yes, sir. Let's get started then, class. Today we will begin with the tale of the three little spoink and the mighty Yina. <laughs> now let me see. Once upon a time in a far off kingdom. Mr. Farfetch'd, I don't think that's the right story. <laughs> ah, uh, indeed, I apologize. And when third period rolled around, we will be sent to the dungeon again. <laughs> Is that just a normal thing every single day? And now, kids, we're going to send you to hell. This is one of the best lines in this game, and it comes from Simapore. It is kind of funny. It was like, that was a nice little speech by Simapore, and yet I like never hear about, like, the Simapore, Simasir, and 
Whatever the grass one is. <laughs> Children, today you're going to go and collect criminals. Gotta catch them all. Children, I will be leading your field trip again today. Also, I'm pleased to announce some special guests. Our friendly local sheriffs are here to assist in today's lesson. Wow, real life sheriffs. They're so cool. We're here today to demonstrate to all of you how to use an alliance. An alliance? That's right, an alliance. Your team must all use an alliance together to unleash their moves. It is an absolutely vital skill to have, so be sure that you learn it well. Let's move into the forest to continue the demonstration. Now then, we'll ask these kind officers to perform an alliance for us. So, students, pay close attention. And you are certain about this? You may even lose consciousness. Beep, beep, beep. It will be fine. Don't you know who I am? Have it to me. Come on. Very well, then. Take this. Our perfected triple shock attack, which we just named now. <laughs> Vice Principal Watchhog, dead before their eyes. <laughs> that would be a dark way to kind of sort of start a Pokemon game. The principal just getting murdered by the sheriffs in an accident. Vice Principal Watchhog! What this is? Nothing. Nothing at all. More important, did you all watch carefully how they used an alliance? Allies moving together in an instant. Surrounding a foe to attack all at once. What's more, it deals damage to your enemies even if it's a bad matchup. That is the definition of an alliance. However, if you use this tactic too much, it makes you very hungry. So be forewarned. That's cool. Oh, that's kind of a neat mechanic. Replacing the kind of build up team based uh super move and instead making it something you can kind of sort of do whenever but at the cost of a resource that's kind of cool next it will be up to you all to try it out against me come at me vice principal watchhog versus panchum shelmet and esper first choose the move you want you to use for your alliance to register your move, just lightly tap R. Go on, give R a little push. Now you got it all wrong. All you need to do is press R lightly. I don't understand. Right, now you're cooking. This is Alliance Registration Mode. Once you're in this mode, you need to choose your moves. First up is Panjum. Pick your move and press A. Arm thrust. There you go, Shelmet's move. Hmm, I guess Pursuit. That's Liesper, go on, choose a move for her. Psybeam. And you're ready, time to unleash your alliance. You can press R or touch the icon on the lower screen. So it's basically a big up gang up mode. Yeah! Uh, you really got me, but I'm not done yet. One more time. Let's see another alliance! Come and face me, your illustrious vice principal! This guy's just a glutton for punishment. Once you've registered an alliance, you can use a shortcut next time. Hold down L and press R. Just press R or touch the screen. You got it, you're an alliance expert now. Very neat. But yeah, I think Vice Principal Watchhog is just a masochist. Alliance attacks have built-in type Bulldozer Emra, although I always forget about them. Huh. It looks like you've all been able to get in a bit of practice. I think you should have the basics of alliances down by now. Use them wisely in your adventures. Oh. Vice Principal! I'm fine but I may have underestimated the impact of so many moves, even if you are children. You all did very 
fine job attacking me. Even if you did seem to enjoy it a bit much. Let's bring this lesson to an end. Again, it's not ding a dong, it is clink a clank! Bye, Miss Adino. Goodbye for today. Be safe on your way home. Once again, I walk home alone. I walk this lonely road, the only road I've ever taken to school. The next morning. I do enjoy that we're actually learning things at the school, though. Even if it is kind of depressing that the one who is supposed to be our friend is not always there for us. Also, I just realized the bottom screen, like, kind of changed from when it's like a map map. And it still looks really cool. I like it. Morning, Neon. Looks like another fine day. You have a good time at school today. Maybe we'll be able to beat up Watchhog again. Uh, maybe we'll talk to Karakosta if he's here. I steal from him instead! Oh, if it isn't young Neon, a good morning to you. If you were hoping to catch Gabriel, I'm afraid you've come too late. Again, this place feels a lot more furnished than Nuzleaf's house. Is Nuzleaf holding out on me? I like the music. The music's so nice. We don't know who lives here. They've yet to show up. Or maybe they're just always out and about. May I offer you one of the mushrooms off my back as a token of friendship? I am not going to be consumed by you. Morning, Neon. You off to school now? Good luck. I'm a painter. To me, art is... Well, art is... What? Do you paint with people's blood or something? Good morning, Neon! Are you having fun at school? What's the matter? You seem a bit down. Well, the closest thing I have to a friend is kind of ignoring me. Good morning. Another lovely day today. It's a perfect kind of weather to fit in a bit of a workout. I'll take out all my money and check and see... Uh, uh, like what he has to sell today. Welcome to the Kecleon shop. What? Oh! You mean to tell me that you mean to tell me that there are more than just basic looplets? That there are basic looplets, and then there are looplets who inherently have more slots and boost a thing at the same time? I'm a buy it. Why are you selling a looplet to a child anyway? Isn't this like the equivalent of, like, maybe not a gun, but it is like a declaration of I'm going to get into dangerous situations. Huh. Neat. Da, 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 da. That is very cool. Very cool. And of course, the attack looplet is mine. I am always the boss. No, wait. I wonder. I, I keep forgetting that for some reason, these games don't let you, like, equip things in town sometimes. Just in case I'm a fool again, we shall save. <laughs> you stole an orange berry from Caracosta? What are you, Gabriel? Who knows? It was just there. It's mine now. Pika. Boo! That's what I like to do. Hey, hey! Where's my guild master? <laughs> Did you come here on a field trip with <laughs> Wigglytuff and he just left you behind? That's you again. Doesn't even hurt a bit. Ha 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 ha. Good morning. You're off to school. Stay focused on your studies. Ding a dong, ding a dong. It's supposed to be click a clank. All right, children. It's time for health class. Today we will be learning about evolving. What evolution? Isn't that like maturing quickly? What are you talking about? Don't you know what evolution is? Evolving just means you get bigger. I, for one, want to get bigger. Well, that's one way to sum it up. Yes. What? No. 
you'll get bigger. It's not only your body is growing larger, though, in, uh, ca uh, though it causes many other changes. Sometimes you'll even get smaller. Evolving does bring you closer to being an adult. So in that sense, Gabriel's assumptions are not entirely off base. What about all the other times where evolution was just locked away? Didn't seem to affect them much. I guess it's more like you'll be taken more seriously and t perceived as more mature if you evolve. Although now the idea of a giant child Charizard is amusing to me. What's that supposed to mean? And in addition to evolving, you may... Excuse me! I'm sorry, but have you seen Badoo lately? Huh? Little Badoo here? No, I surely haven't. Isn't it still another year before Badoo is due to start school? Oh, what am I to do? I've searched all over our neighborhood, but I found no sign of her. What? You mean Badoo has gone missing? Maybe I should contact the sheriffs. I'm sorry for interrupting your class like this. Oh, but you're lightheaded. Oh, no. Depression. Oh, my. Are you all right, Rosalia? Yes. It's just that I've been getting so dizzy lately. You come with me, sweetie. I want you to rest for a bit in the clinic school. Or the school clinic. What could have happened to Badoo? It makes you worry, doesn't it? Well, of course you would, dearling. You're just so kind-hearted. But it seems to me like you might be uh, overreacting over one kid wandering off. How can you say that? How could you not worry when a tiny kid like that goes missing on her own? It's true that her mother at least w would get worried about it. Wait, Badu? I think Badu is the one I saw back then. Went to the goddamn honey-making factory. Badu, Rosalia's little one. Honey-making season has begun, child. Many Pokemon like Beedrill and Combi all get together to make heaps of honey. However, they're on edge while making honey. Stay safe and steer clear till the, they're all done. Especially a wee child like yourself. It's best to give Nectar Meadow a wide berth at this time of year. Could it be that Badoo one anyway? She may be after some honey. Hmm? What is it, Neon? I think I know where Badoo went. What? You have an idea where Badoo may have gotten to? Nectar Meadow to get some honey? It is true that honey-making season has begun in Nectar Meadow. If she did go there, Badoo may be in real danger. <laughs> Why are you all falling for this liar's story? Don't you remember this ridiculous tales Neon was spewing just yesterday? Huh? Well, I can't believe you're falling for it again. Who would swallow that kind of lie? You're all getting tricked again. Ah, oh, that was a close one. I nearly got fooled there. So they won't believe a word I say. Well, if that's how it is... Neon! Hey, what are you? You can't just run out in the middle of class! What a fool. As if any of us would follow. I can't wait to see the chewing out that Neon is going to get from the teacher. <laughs> Neon. Am I gonna actually enter a dungeon on my own? No way am I gonna let this go. If no one else believes me, then I simply have to go by myself. I'm going straight to Nectar Meadow. Oh boy, we're gonna go in alone and <laughs> probably get our ass beat. At least I can only assume. I wonder, does anyone. Oh, oh, hey. I'm trying to eat only healthy food, but I really want to go to the cafe, too. What should I do? Hmm, huh? Hmm. I'll keep the, like, two other looplets just in case. Well, we have enough of everything else. So we'll talk to everybody again, because why not? Kids shouldn't be wandering around in the middle of the day like this! Well, too bad. Did you sneak out of class? Nuzleaf won't be happy to hear about this. Oh, shouldn't you be at school now? Well, there is a danger, though. No, but you... I don't know why I keep expecting him to have a changed dialogue. I do, but he never does. We gotta talk to everybody before we go. Hey, it's a low tad. I don't feel like doing anything. My leaf feels heavy. 
I'll float in the water instead. And drown? It's just gonna wanna offer me that again. A little disappointing that a bunch of the just random spawn mons don't have multiple lines, but understandable. Off I go. Hold up, Neon! I did it! I ditched class too! What? I'm going with you! I believe you, Neon! Gabriel! Come on, let's take on Nectar Meadow! We're gonna find Badoo! Yes! Oh, and if we get the chance, let's give that Alliance thing a shot. We just learned about it yesterday, so we ought to at least give it a try. It would be kind of sad if we were wrong, and it turned out that actually, no, Badoo was not in the Honeydew Forest or whatever. Oh no, the flower child went to the honey factory. <laughs> Willy Wonka's honey factory. All the plants get used as ingredients. Now you can use Alliance. Cooperate with your teammates and dish out powerful moves. Press R to register moves for an alliance. Well, I might as well. I'll set it into the attack one. In the paralysis status, the Pokemon cannot attack or use moves, and its movements become slower too. The status will go away with time, but if you're in a battle, try to get through it by using items or other strategies. Back and whip! The Pokemon's been hit with Leech Seed. It will gradually drain the Pokemon's HP. The status will go away after a while or if the opposing Pokemon faints. But if the Pokemon's HP gets too low, be sure to use an item to heal it. You'll leave my butt alone. Shit. What's of all the missing? Go to hell and die, you motherfucker. The missing is annoying. Oh, hey, we return to normal. Die. Now we can do my inventory. Looplet for me. And might as well give this looplet to Gabriel. That way I can hit hard and he'll never fall asleep. Also, I just realized this is some pretty, 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 like, dungeon design. Well, that's very rude. I quick attack back. God damn it, solve all the missing! All of these guys have ranged moves, and my buddy is leaving me to die. Yep, and uh, Gabriel, why? A little annoying that the AI went, oh, I am in a dun I am in just here. That is a very annoying game. He should have come out to help me. There were enemies. He shot at one. Game. I tried to lure my ally out, and the game said, Nope, that's not gonna happen. Quit with the missing! What is with the accuracy? It's very annoying game. Why did he go all the way around? And again, what's with all the missing? What is the accuracy? Maybe I should have used an alliance thing, but we should set that up. Definitely vacuum wave. And probably Psy Beam, since that's his like most leveled up thing. Oh, it doesn't seem like there's anywhere else to really go. Very small dungeon size. 
And we shall wait a bit to get my health back. Oh, hey, a Zigzagoon. Prepare to die. Get my health back. That was very rude game to send my ally off on a random mission of doom instead of actually having them come out and help me when there was an enemy within their reach. What is with the missing? Now see, now I understand if I miss. <laughs> Does not have sand attack in eyes. Misses all attacks. Does have sand attack in eyes. Hits perfectly. Get crit, bug man. For a moment I was just like, wait a minute, why is the bug like super affected by Psychic, and I guess it's because it was also part poison type. I think. I nom on you. I kill you. It feels like it's been forever since we went on an adventure with Gabriel. Aha! What is Final Gambit, and why does it look terrifying? The name alone makes me worried that it'd be like explosion times a hundred. Yeah, you murder that shroomish. Oh, hey, drop a good item for me, why don't you? It's what I deserve after the beating you gave me. Vacuum wave, I punched the goat. I quick attack the goat. And we'll quickly head up there to see what that middle top left path is, if it leads anywhere or not. Hello, Shroomish. Prepare to die for your sins. I feel like I'm missing far too often. Accuracy is eating me away and dying. He can learn Howl. Boost your attack. Uh, hmm. I prefer Tail Whip because... Like, Howl seems like something that he would spam a lot. It's something that I would use. Like, if I was in control of Gabriel, but not something I trust the AI with. As we have just learned, cannot trust the AI... The AI is the devil. We'll give this to you so you get your moves back a little bit. We have come to beat you up for what your kind has done to me. Prepare to die. You come to avenge bird friend, too late. You must die. Return our stats to normal. That's also another thing. Since Wonder Tiles reset stats in general, I don't really want to use them too much. Because then that could lead me, like, potentially to, like, just lose a bunch of stat ups when I need to get rid of a bunch of stat downs. It's like it doesn't feel good for the action economy. Because it feels like I get hit by a lot of like things that affect my stats negatively. So I want to use Wonder Tiles a lot. Uh, but, but luckily, I got poisoned right at the tail end of a floor. So I don't need to worry about that too much. Oh, hey! A looplet. We'll grab that in a moment. They did change accuracy in this game to work with the newly added speed stat. The higher the speed, the more likely you are to hit it. I think the higher an enemy's speed is compared to yours also boosts evasiveness. 
That makes sense. It's just that, like, it feels like it's so, just so, so much. <laughs> so much happening that I'm just missing. Especially considering they're not even giving out max elixirs all that much. They're just giving out normal elixirs. You and your teammates can hold looplets by selecting. We already know that. They have effects as long as Pokemon have them. Yep, yep. That's what I do know. I'll nom on the goat. Grow all you want. You will still die. Damn it. Stop being speedy and die. And it is an attack looplet as well. We give it to the boy. So we can be the super duper attack people. How does a bird even growl? You dare do that to me? Quick attack. I probably should have just done that from the start. Hmm. I also need to be wary of Emeras now. Oh, hey, shop floor. I don't think I have my money on me. Oh, nope, I do have my money on me. Is there anything I actually care to buy? Training seed? Like, you know, I know what that is. It just, like, increases your chance to, like, level up moves and stuff. Normal elixirs. Well, I guess these normal elixirs wouldn't be bad to buy. And, of course, we'll come up here and... I will take them. Thank you, dear Kecleon friend. And I see that there is a loop... Well, not a looplet, an Emera up there. But first... Nom nom, apple apple. Jesus Christ, this is Imra Heaven. Dizzying stare. Darn it. Almost got there. Well, we decent. We at least we got a few. Also, I just realized, in any other game, that totally would have been a monster house. That was way too many items. Eh, ah, sure, go ahead. I shall quick attack you. How dare you hurt the boy. Quit trying to hurt the boy and die already. And a burn guard. Do I really care about burn guard? Prevents you from having a burn. Hmm. Or increases HP. Yeah, you know what? I'll just use. Become Super Tank Man. Oh, we got an extra Reviver Seed. Well, tiny Reviver Seed, but still. I hate when my... <laughs> I hate that my allies, like, intentionally get in front of me. With that current, like... Order set up. Like, I'm trying to move out of the way, and they're like, I'm going to get in your way. But at the same time, them actually setting up to try and hit enemies with their ranged attacks and actually going for items is a nice thing. We'll quickly check and see all the floors that are connected. And now we'll go down because we can... Just because we're here to save Badoo doesn't mean that we can't explore to our heart's content. Don't worry, we're here to kill you. Leave the boy alone and suffer instead. Well, that's a big Pokemon coming up behind us. Well, I definitely need to use an elixir. Oh, hey, the big thing decided to leave us be. I forget what it's called, Ambipom? And yet another looplet. And a, just everybody picked up things that time. A defense looplet. Hmm. Well, then again, he's been... I wonder, like... Let me quickly check your stats and stuff. To 
this I beam is special, so actually, I guess I should probably give you then the defense one since you're more of a special attacker so far. But it's just funny, the moment that looplets are introduced, we just get flooded with all the looplets. Love this song too. Yeah, this this one is really, really good. Again, kind of in that understated kind of way where it's like, it's a very good song. Something that you'd like have on in the background because it kind of is background music. Vacuum wave. Get confused, idiot. Vacuum wave. And I use foresight on you. You just wasted your turns. You jerk. You little zigzagoon, prepare to die. Effect boost. Uh, bye bye. Increase the chance of additional effects will be triggered. Hmm. I don't think I really have effects, so I'll just use. Then again, I could have probably put it on the boy, Gabriel, and his, like, uh, chance to cause confusion with Psybeam probably would have gone up. I am a fool. Even through Dizzy, he hits me. How dare. But I did level up, so there is a god. <laughs> there is an Arceus. But I do like the, like, aesthetic of all these dungeons. So far, they've been really, really good. They're just nice on the eyes. In a way, I kind of, like, uh... It feels like there aren't as many little things like this where there's just a little pond in the middle of the, the pathway. Whereas with uh, Gates to Infinity, it felt like each dungeon place was really out there with like a bunch of like small, like, like it felt like the areas, like the dungeons were more eldritch natural locations than like, uh, it, they were less dungeon-y. I don't know. It's hard to really put into words. And we don't really need a Pekka Berry. How dare you. You beat up the bird. And I'll beat up from behind you. But there's just something about, like, the dungeon design in Gates to Infinity that just felt interesting. That doesn't feel as prevalent here. Could just be that I haven't been paying attention. Entirely possible. You fool. Damn it. Damn it. Finally murdered you. Victory is mine. And it's just a dead end. The longest pathway in the dungeon. And it leads to nothing. Except a leech seed to the face. Let me see. We should probably give Gabriel his ranged attacks back. Especially now that I got stun spores. Okay, that's kind of annoying that it hits multiple Pokemon. How dare. You fiend. It's a little annoying that I have to, like, skip my turn. To, like, try and get it off, but that means pressing the button. Which means potentially accidentally hitting him. Which is, I don't know, it's a little weird. Ah, Ember has upgraded. Good for the boy.
But onwards we go. All the way back to the stairs we go. You bloody plant man, die. Not plant man, but I guess some kind of bug man, die. Look at the little lake. The nice little lake. I quick attack you. Then you get embered. I quick attack you again. And now I can no longer quick attack. Oh, ah, a midway point. Because it's a big dungeon, I guess. Oh, I thought that was going to be like a cutscene. There's a deposit box, Neon. You can deposit your items and pokey in a deposit box. Use them whenever you need them. Whenever you're ready. Let's get moving. We gotta find Badoo. Put away these. Put away you. These extra wands. So we have a decent amount. And then definitely withdraw some apples. Buy some apples from me so I can be rich. Yes. Come fight us, Birdman. I guess we'll first we'll get rid of that guy as quickly as possible. You know what? I can foresee you. <laughs> no evasion for you, you little fiend. Foresight is going to be so handy, I feel like. Kind of wish that it was a guaranteed to, like, properly land thing, but oh well. <laughs> Pushing your allies in a dungeon feels like a mean thing to do. Especially because I keep forgetting that it's automatically push. So I just like, oh, I'm going to go back. Push my ally roughly. This entire place is just tunnels. How dare you do that to my friend. Get punched. Get bit. Hey. Some, well, somebody picked up something called excessive force. Yep, just uh, increases critical hit. But we're going to give it to you at long last. Ow, you bastard. I need to level up my quick attack. Damn it. Money for me. Onwards we go through the flowery meadow. Bite the bug before it bites you. And then burn it alive. Commit a war crime if it's a bug. <laughs> Honestly, that kind of sounds like a Helldivers 2 commercial. Commit war crimes against bugs. Get burned. I partially feel like... My dizzying Emera is kind of saving us here. It's at least saving us a bit of trouble. Oh, hey, thanks. My. Oh, how come that stun could un couldn't also miss? Get nommed on, and then obliterated. Onwards we go, through the wondrous meadow. More money! Money for me! Death, darn you. I get it, you're a speedy zigzagoon. But die. And give us your money as well. We murder a dungeon mon, forge their will. 
<laughs> they definitely make these enemies a little too fast for this early in the, the early game. That's what I'm feeling. Hmm. Ooh, barrage. Oh. Wait. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did that say having empty slots increases the effect? I don't really care. Let's see. Honestly, trap proof. I am inevitable. Come fight a zigzagoon and prepare to get mollywopped for all your sins. The sins of your people. And now we are here to kill you. I forgot that I had that activated. I forgot. I'm gonna go through my moves so quickly now as I murder everything before me. Lullaby. Makes his enemies potentially go to sleep. Definitely give to you. I am inevitable. Barrage is just super cool. Even if we've only saw it activate once, and it was terrifying. I swear, if enemies can start using Emeras, I'm screwed. How dare you use Disable. The Pokemon's moves have been sealed away, preventing it from using them. Move to the next floor, and then seal moves and the steel slap. Move on to the next floor, and the sealed status will go away. You can also cure it with a heal seed. It's not as obvious with, like, uh, which one is sealed. Oh, hey. What can we buy today? A Petrify Wand, a Tiny Reviver Seed, and a Tiny Reviver Seed. Uh, sadly, nothing here speaks to me. Interesting that we got him twice in a relatively short amount of time. Get obliterated. When a barrage hits, oh, it feels good. I was trying to set up a good, like, uh, attack on that guy. And of course now they're all coming in. Good, he's dead. How dare you hit me. You must die now. And level up my quick attack. Oh, this guy's asleep. Oh, no. I thought it was gonna be scarier. You fool. You will die now. Ah, oh, damn it, I am now asleep. Thank you. I do like that allies can be like, oh, hey, you're in the danger, let me help you. That's a neat little feature. Punch the bug. Freak attack. Was there a thing I was gonna do? We, oh, yeah, we were gonna check, like, uh... The elixirs, as well as apple. I forgot we're going to check out the apples, because we definitely need to numb. 
so that we do not starve. That'd be borderline horrific. As they look for Badu, they just find the starving bodies that was us. Clutch Performer. All right, uh, it makes it easier to dodge moves and your HP is low. I think I'm just going to use this to get my speed up so I have less to worry about. Toughness. Uh, same thing, I'll just use. Trap proof, I'll just use. Ah, uh, lots of prime apples to sell later. Pain. But no longer pain, now you must die. And on we go. How did Badu even get this deep in? They're younger than Gumi, so... What the hell? Are they just a dungeon prodigy? Or are the Beedrill like, oh boy, a pollen factory? Which in a way feels like a dark fate. For poor plant child. <laughs> Single critical hit. Ultimate murder. In grain all you want, you're still dead. How dare you? How dare you again, Nom? Murder time! Ah, we got an elixir back. We'll swap that for something. Probably a peckaberry. But we got more floor. Well, more of this floor we should explore. More of this floor we should explore. More treasure to be found. More of this floor we should explore. The effects could be profound. Type bulldozer! A type bulldozer! Mm -mm 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 -mm. Honestly, uh, Intimidator is the least likely to be good in that lineup. Die. And we got his Nintendo 64 money. He'll never be able to afford it now. <laughs> Damn bird, you make me look bad. Now die. Darn it, I should have saved that. Swapped out an old apple. Now I need to... Because that's good money making. I'm a fool. But yeah, I do not remember any of this. Yet somehow I remember, I believe it's called the Ancient Burrow. I remember that. I was too far away to get that. That is shenanigans. I sue... You spawned me too far away from an Emerald to get it hell for you. How dare. Also, Emerald ups. Hmm. But I don't know. Hmm. Emerald ups, I feel like, should be saved. I don't know. Like They're one of those things that I want to save because they sound powerful. But they're also one of those things that I'm probably never going to actually use when I should anyway. I don't... What? What the hell is this? In the words of uh, Dante, Devil May Cry. Now what the hell is this? It's the key door, huh? Huh. Interesting. Why are there two different entrance exits? I'm 
very intrigued. Well, we're definitely swapping something out. Probably an old apple. Hmm. And the confused wand. We'll eat this. Because it should be a normal apple. Nom. Clutch Performer, I'll just use. Because beefing up my speed is all in all pretty good. How dare you. I smack you with speed. Get obliterated, we take your money and put our stats back to normal. We're gonna beat you up because we can! <laughs> now we have the elixirs for it. Go on, buddy. Keep setting fire to this place. You know, I just realized we haven't really run into any of the honey-making ones. Status immunity?! How would adding multiple increase the effect? What do I want to replace? Honestly, better than critical hit. Get smacked. Darn. And you're asleep. What a horrible way to go. Death. Oh boy, a blast seed. That'll be nice to use against a boss. Because there's probably going to be a boss here. But there was no, like, key to open that gate, so... Unless there's, like, a room between here and there, I doubt. But we'll check it out just in case. No, nope, but it's just this. Hmm. I guess this is just a random mechanic that can sometimes show up. That just showed up here early on. Set fire to the world, indeed. Batu, why did you come here? Um, I think I might be lost. Where am I supposed to go to find honey? BB! Where are you going, BB? Ah, busy buzzy BB! Um, I... I was looking for some honey. What? Are you a honey thief? Ah, uh, busy buzzy BB! No, I never! Come be to me! Ah, uh, busy buzzy BB! Well... <laughs> uh, nightmare. State's immunity, I believe, is a chance to work. There is a rare one called Berry Power that is guaranteed, but it can't show up in early game dungeons. Ah, darn. <laughs> I thought it was like... Immunity to bad things? My favorite thing! Oh, well. What is it? What is it, Busy Buzz? <laughs> Buzzy Busy Combi? It's a honey thief, BB! Ah, oh, Busy Buzzy, huh, BB? I'm scared! What? This child? This one? She seems pretty young, pretty young. Buzzy Busy Combi? Looks don't it mean anything. Everything, BB! You Combi are pretty ferocious despite your own cute looks, BB! What? What? Couldn't be. Buzzy Busy Combi. Wait! Badu, you're alright? Thank goodness. We came to save you. So you're a band of thieves, BB! Ah, Busy Buzzy BB! So she truly is a thief, a thief BB! Busy, Buzzy Busy Combi. What? No! We're just... No time for your excuses, BB! Ah, Busy Buzzy BB! We're too busy, after all. Ah, uh, busy buzzy BB. Padu, get behind us! We'll expel you thieves at once, BB! Ah, uh, busy buzzy BB! I have no idea what the, that whole busy buzzy is, but hey. I don't know if the uh, these work in a room. 
but I kind of want to try. It worked! <laughs> well, I guess I'm most scared of the bee drill, so blessed. At least the diddly d affects all of them in the room. I how dare you? At least your friends are dying. Fucking with. Oh hey, I think the camera even pulls out a bit. In like big bust up brawls like this. And then say goodbye to your evasiveness. Bye bye. Ah, God, busy bee. Oh, buzzy busy. Judging by your looks, you seem weak, but you are actually quite strong. But we must end this quickly. We must hurry and make honey, BB. We must all attack at once. I forgot that that's a thing. Alliance is a thing. I completely forgot. <laughs> it's just like immediately, completely forgot that I have alliance attacks. Alliance attacks are also useful in fights like this where your teammates are all targeting different enemies. You can make them all target one enemy. Hmm. Busy, pussy, busy, pussy, busy, pussy, B. Halt! Oh, Vespa Queen! Wah! Mistress Vespa Queen! Mama! Beedrill, Combi, calm yourselves. Your opponents are mere children, and they are no thieves. I hope you can forgive such a rude welcome. This happens to be our honey-making season. We are terribly busy during this time, and everyone's emotions tend to run hot. I'm afraid that you have come at a rather dangerous time. I do hope you understand. Um, are you... I am Vespaquin. I am the queen of Nectar Meadow. But the, the queen? Oh, <laughs> well, I may be the queen in name, but I am more like a manager in function. Um, your majesty, I, I came here because I wanted to get some honey. So you are a thief? <laughs> Calm yourself. I take it this is how you found yourselves in a fight I interrupted. What good will come of repeating your previous mistakes? I brought my allowance and all. My mom has been looking kind of pale lately, and she's always tired. And I heard that the honey you make is really nutritious. I thought that if my mom could have some honey to eat, she'd surely get better. So that's it. You are a very sweet and considerate child. We do not need any of your pokey. You may have this as a gift from me. Really? Thank you so much. Now hurry back to your home, child. I do hope your mother will recover. I like so far that these bosses have just been misunderstanding so far. <laughs> oh, that's neat little streaks across the sky. Thank goodness. Didn't you know how worried I would be? I'm so glad you're all right. Mom, I brought you some honey. Eat it all up and get better, okay? <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. But please, from now on, don't go anywhere dangerous without me. Okay, Mom. That's, n that's nice. Neat little animation. Thank you both so much for what you did. Thanks to you, my child is home safe. Please take this with my thanks. Oh, a perfect apple! And a weather looplet! And a guiding wand! And a pure seed! <laughs> that's a lot of items! I'm so grateful that you would worry about my Badu and go to save her. But you are also children yourselves. Please try not to be too reckless. I'll take Badu home now. Thanks, Neon. And you, Gabriel. It's really good that we found Badu before anything bad happened. In the end, we skipped school to do it, but I'm still glad that we went. It's gotten really dark now. If I'm too late getting home, Nutsleaf will probably chew me out. I guess I ought to start heading back. 
Hey, Neon? That story about you really being a human. Well, I believe it. What? Yeah. All right. I've decided. Neon! Wait, what's this? Oh, it's the same. It's the partner's theme again, I think. Neon! I want you to be my friend! Huh? Isn't that a bit blunt? And why does it sound like an order? No one believes anything you have to say right now, Neon. Well, I don't know, Puntress pulled there. But that's the same way they treat me. So I really understand how you feel. It gets lonely when no one ever believes in you or what you say. But if you have even just one friend who will believe you, then you'll be really happy. So as two fellow outcasts that no one believes in, why don't we start by believing in each other as friends? See? Then all we have to do is get another friend and then another and another. And someday, we'll have more friends than we can count. Just like those stars up there. Yeah, that's what we'll do. So, Neon, be my friend. I mean, please, please be my friend. No, that's not quite it either. Sorry. I really hope that we can be friends. I promise to stand by you. So let's be friends. How dare you default to no game? I'll be your friend. Really? You'll really be my friend? <laughs> All right. Thank you, Neon. From today on, we're officially friends. Oh, I know. Uh, let me see. Here they are. Oh. Neon, I'll give you one of these. Are these scarves? Yeah, I have two of them. Oh, this, 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 this is cool. Because in all the other ones, like, scarves are kind of there. And are, like, definitely there in the artwork. But this is the first time they're, like, story relevant. My old pops found me when I was just a baby, see? Apparently I was all wrapped up in these scarves. So I've always held on to them. But I want to show you that I appreciate you your being my friend. So I'm giving you one. Here, why don't you try putting it on? What? This is cool. Oh? Uh oh? Neon, it totally suits you! It looks really good, really! And it's even on the models! Hell yeah! I'd say we both look pretty spiffy, huh? <laughs> At any rate, these scarves will always be the proof of our friendship! Wow, it's gotten really late. Let's head home, Neon. Oh, and I'll come by your place in the morning so we can walk to school together. See you tomorrow. I like this. I like this. Uh-oh. Oh, that's cool. No idea what evils are abound. I'm telling you, it's the truth. We w Who would believe a tale like that? He isn't called the big boss of the Northern Seas for nothing, you know. I didn't even get what you were trying to say in the first place. I know exactly. That's why I asked you guys to come with me into this dark stretch of ocean. Oh, we're nearly there now. What are they going to find? What is this? Stone, I think. Is that a waylord? I can't really tell. It's still too dark. Let's back up a little. Is that a is that a waylord that's been turned to stone? Okay, let's so we'll try shining our lights together. What in the... Are you serious? It can't be! No way. Waylord. Waylord has... Been turned to stone? I knew those were flippers when I saw them. I do find it funny that we're just like, Hey, fun time adventures in school town. Eldritch horror happening elsewhere. 
I assume you mean the scarves of this thing he's designed has been stuck in the fandom's mind since this first came out. I can I can definitely understand this is the first time that the scarves have been story important, apparently. From YouTube chat, that mother was rich, Roselia just giving us all those items. And Gabriel is being way too cute for me to handle right now. He is a fun little guy. But still, how evil of the game to default over no. I know that Twitch chat was saying it's like to see if you're paying attention, but still. The next morning. Phooey! I'm pretty thoroughly lost now. Having such a terrible sense of direction is indeed a burden. Yes, undeniably. But... I'm quite sure that must be Serene Village over that way. I guess I'm here at last. My, my, my. I wonder what will come of it. Ooh, it's a chilling prospect. Well, I guess there's no time like the present. He's going to get lost on his way there. Chapter 6, a Junior Expedition Society member is born. I like that it's permanently there. Good morning, Neon. I was wondering about last night. Where'd that scarf come from? I reckon it looks mighty fun on you. Might need to get one myself, I reckon. That's a mighty fine scarf and suits you. <laughs> we do not answer him at all. <laughs> the PMD emotional whiplash is such a classic. These games are built different. <laughs> but I do like it because it breaks up the slice of life kind of monotony. Where it's like, hey, other things are happening. So even though, like, we're stuck here in the kind of, like, slow buildup, the slow burn, it's still teasing you with other things are happening. A Deoxys stops by and feels like the world doesn't feel right. Rayquaza is running away. Some voice was saying discontent is on the rise in Serene Village, I think. And then Waylord got a uh, Waylord got turned to stone. From YouTube chat, I believe if you say no to the partners be my friend, the player just straight up says, no, that joke is way too cruel right now. <laughs> Neon, good morning. Perfect timing. Come on, let's walk together. Well, let's go say hi to your dad. Ah, Neon, isn't that scarf? I noticed that Gabriel had taken to wearing one since last night, but I see. Neon, I've got a favor to ask you. Please stay true to Gabriel. Of course, he's my friend. Even if there was a depression streak there for a moment. I would never abandon my friend. <clears throat> I'm feeling so much better today. Thank you so much for all your help. My mom made up lots and lots of honey we got for her. I like, I like a happy ending. Also, I kind of like that Gabriel sticks to your side rather than just behind you. We still don't know who lives here. What, do the Behim live there? Why is it so fun? Zap. Hey, a Vulpix. Here I come. I'm Vulpix. I grow more tails as I grow. I wonder if some of these, like, cameo characters are references to, like, potential past, like, protagonists. Because you could play as a Vulpix in one of the past games, I remember. Oh, wait, no. Hey, hey, where's my guildmaster? Why why are you still here if you're looking for your guildmaster? We're going to get into trouble, aren't we? Because we skipped school. Huh? What's that? The, talk, uh, he doesn't just have a bad sense of direction. He's a menace to society. Uh, are you okay? Absolutely wonderful. No worries. Happens all the time. I've got the world's worst sense of direction. This guy could... Uh, I made the joke that uh, this Ampharos had Zoro's sense of direction. No, he's worse. Zoro somehow walks in a straight line and ends up somewhere different. This guy physically can't. And he still ends up nowhere where he's meant to be. Especially in new places. And so I just wander about, bumping from place to place. It's quite the hassle. Do you children live in this village? Yeah? I'm Gabriel, and this is Neon. 
Indeed, how precious you both are. But sinning me, I have not yet introduced myself. I am Ampharos, known far and wide as the Dashing Wanderer. I hope you'll take care to remember me. And now I'm off again. He dropped a thing. Huh? He dropped something. I wonder. What, it almost looks like a Pokeball. I wonder what this is. It looks like some kind of crystal ball. Huh? He's already out of sight? I like that little search animation. I guess he wandered off without even noticing that he dropped it. I'd sure like to return it to him, but we've got to get on our way to school. We already skipped once. They'll kill us if we skip again. Well, I guess we'll just have to wait until class is in for the day. Then we can go search for Amphros to return this. Guess I'll hold on to it then. Hey, Hippo... Uh, hey, however do you say his name? Hey, Hippopota... Hippopotas. Hippopot... Uh, it's a tongue twister. It kills me. What is it? You may have seen a Pokemon called Amphros around here a little while ago. You mean like five seconds ago? Well, he dropped something of his, and now I've got it. If you see him, could you tell him that? Mm-hmm, <laughs> sure. If he happens to come by this way, I will pass that along. Thanks, Hippopotas. Then I guess it's time we get to school. That fellow may have bigger problems than just a poor sense of direction. Hey, now, and when did you two have to pick... When, and when did you two, the two of you, pick up such fancy-looking scarves? What in the world was with that Pokemon? What is this causing me pain? Did you not even notice? <laughs> Weather looplet. It protects the holder. Look at all the animals! So many. That is so. I don't care about the thing. It's like, look at all of the Emera slots. It's amazing. <laughs> from from YouTube chat. Wait, was that the legendary dashing wanderer? I've heard all about him and his dashing looks. Quickly, da da. See if there's anything I wanna. I'll definitely put those away. Honestly, we don't need that many of our tiny reviver seeds unless something catastrophic happens! But it shouldn't. And now we'll go... Well, first we'll see... About... Who was that wandering Pokemon? I was afraid he might break my shop with all his bumbling and fumbling. Only selling one apple, which we'll buy. We have plenty of other apples... In our storage. Well, let's see what else you buy. Uh, you sell them. Honestly, give me those max elixirs. Give them to me! Give them to me now! Oh, and, uh, well, definitely. <laughs> That's interesting. It actually repeats his dialogue. I like that, because sometimes I'll. In the previous games, I would just accidentally go on autopilot and just, like, forget. Oh, we're definitely not selling the perfect apple. I need to read what even it does. But we'll sell these, uh,. Pristine apples, and what even is the perfect apple? Eating it totally fills your belly. It also increases your belly's capacity significantly. We'll definitely put that away. We don't want to waste a perfect apple. Do, do, da, da, da. That was a pretty splendid display of clumsiness right there, huh? And we already evolved, so let's see who's here in the cafe today. Um, what's this? Matching scarves? Well, isn't that sweet? They look lovely on the two of you. Why do I get the feeling this game is gonna be the most, like, hero and partner bonding out of all of the heroes and partners? Mighty Manky, he has, he has a short temper! I'm so frustrated! Well, go build a building about it. Get lots of things when you stay quiet. A second Vulpix? Huh. What do you gotta say, Hablucha? 
Nope. <laughs> you are a child, aren't you? Um, Neon? You know, I kind of just remembered, but when you think about it, we ditched class yesterday and ran out without a word, huh? I bet the teachers and everyone are gonna give us a hard time when we see them. Which really makes me not want to go. Hey, I know! Neon! How about we just don't go to school again today, huh? <laughs> no go, huh? Yeah, I thought not. <laughs> I like Kecleon nodded. He was like paying attention. You're right. Skipping school is bad. I guess I'll go, but I really don't want to. We have to face our fates. Good morning, Vice Principal Watchhog. Yes, good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning, very nice. And now... It looks like everyone is here. Everyone but the problem children, that is. After all, Gabriel and Neon ran out of in the middle of classes yesterday. Oh, just thinking about it again makes me so... I wanted to wait here to give them a proper lecture about their behavior, but they still haven't shown up. Ruff! It couldn't be. They couldn't be planning not to come to school today in order to avoid my lecture. Oh, that would make me so, so... Oh, I've got to take this rage out on someone. Uh, looks like Gabriel was right about this one. Oh man, I knew he would be furious. He's just waiting to pounce on us the second we show our faces, huh? If only he'd just get called away for a second or two. The first bell is about to ring, too. Ah, uh, this ray will be late to class! What should we do, Neon? You're asking me? Like, I know what to do in this kind of situation. Well, let's go and take our lumps. Take our lumps like we deserve, huh? Yeah, I know you're right. Even if it was just because we wanted to save Badoo before anything happened. That doesn't change the fact that we left school without permission, huh? It's a pain to get chewed out by the vice principal of all people, but... I guess we just have to face our fate. What? Neon, Gabriel, can you hear me? Esper! Huh? Is that you, Esper? She's using her telepathy! You guys are hiding, aren't you? Just wait a second. Vice Principal Watchhog! Is that Esper? Yes, sir. And why are you using telepathy? I... I just wanted you to know how much I really admire you, Vice Principal. <laughs> you... you... you mean you... admire me? You really admire me? Yes, I do. After all, you're really smart and you're just good at teaching the class, too. Really? You think so? This poor guy has such low self-esteem, he needs compliments from a child. There's no doubt that the next principal will be you and no one else, I think. What? You really think so? <laughs> Why is he dancing around like that? What is with our vice principal? Come on, now's your chance to get in. Huh? Just hurry and dash through the gate. Don't let him notice us. <gasps> the bell is ringing already. I've got to hurry to teach class. It gets there, suddenly we're there. <laughs> like ghosts. All right, everyone, I know we're still missing some members, but time to start. I'll be sure to thoroughly punish those two problem children later for daring to be- Oh! What did the- We did the problem children get here! How could this be? How could I let this happen? Mr. Vice Principal, shouldn't we be starting class right now? Uh, yes. Yes, you're right. However, before we do- Gabriel- Neon! Yes? You two little miscreants! You cut class yesterday without permission! Yeah... Not yeah, I want to hear a yes sir! Why do you problem children always have to cause so many problems to- Excuse me, Vice Principal Watchhog. I'm afraid you may be in the wrong this time. The Principal Singapore! Gabriel, Neon... Miss Rosalia came by this morning to tell me what had happened. She was most graceful. 
It is true that the two of you left school without permission, and that was wrong. But I know you did so because you felt something more important was at stake. I think that the two of you made the right decision yesterday. Th then you mean... Yes, there will be no punishment this time. So I believe it is time that you begin your lesson, Vice Principal Watchhog. <laughs> All right, that's great, you two. Huh? Neon, I'm really sorry about yesterday. I doubted you, so I didn't do anything to help out. Hey, but I'm so glad that Buddy is okay. Thanks, Gabriel and Neon. Uh, everyone is... Uh, hey! We just are bad, okay? Yeah, I mean, I guess you aren't a total liar, at least. So, sorry about that. At least they're admitting that they were wrong. <laughs> sorry, Gabriel and Neon. I'll admit it. You guys did pretty good this time. Even Pancham and Shelmet? Ah, keep your distance! You're still so annoying! Don't misunderstand, okay? Just because you did good this time doesn't make us friends or anything! There you go again. Deep down you want to be friends, don't you? I know you do! What in the- Of course we don't! This is why you're so annoying! Yandere Pancham, it seems. Ah, the happy, smiling faces of children. Don't you love seeing them, Vice Principal? This must be the best class you've had the pleasure of teaching, isn't it? Uh, of course, Mr. Principal. <laughs> I like that because it's kind of, sort of like the perfect apple incident. Except they actually end nice. <laughs> Even though the Perfect Apple incident was mostly about kind of building up to Chatot's realization that Team Skull was bad news. And then just utter... I forget, were, did Chatot utterly annihilate them or were they utterly annihilated by the ambushing Pokemon? I forget, it's been a long time. Both. Both is good. And after school that day... Ah, cool. We jump right to finding Ampharos, I guess. I guess I was picking up whatever stuff I had on the ground. That's kind of cool. All right. School's out. Let's go back to the plaza, Neon. we got to find Ampharos and give him back that crystal ball of his. Don't misunderstand things, okay? I still think you're annoying. Hey, now that I look at the two of you, what's up with the matching scarves, huh? We're not looking to be our friends or anything like that, but... Those scarves, they are kind of snazzy. <laughs> Smile and say hello. Chew your food. Play nice, or else you'll be in trouble. I feel like that was written by Odino. So apparently it seems you did a good thing yesterday. Although I don't like to admit it. Especially since you cut class to run off. At least he admits that. It's like, I don't like how you did it, but you did do a good thing. I heard that you found Badoo for her mother. I'm most also grateful for that. Thank you. I like the music. The vibes of this game are so good. You must think carefully and decide for yourself what is right and what is wrong. I think it is an invaluable skill to have. That's cool. I really enjoy this. This is this is neat. How to use the school grounds. Play nice of everybody. Enjoy yourself while you exercise. The vice principal is a great Pokemon to listen to what he says. The mere fact that we're both, like, the player character wears the scarf is so good. I'll see you tomorrow, Neon. Gabriel, take care on your way home. Just a lone tree over here. And then a campfire for some reason. I guess maybe they maybe if the school has a little camp out. Oh, I know, Neon. I'm pretty sure I've seen an item like this for sale at Kecleon's shop. Again, I still find it funny that a long time ago I thought it was Kesleon. For all those time, but nope, Kecleon. We should go ask Kecleon about it. He might know something useful. Well, before we ask him, let's talk. Oh, hey! Hey! Oh, for a moment I thought because there was a Togepi that led a 
exploration team and explorers, so I thought maybe, but nope, they must just be little friends of Badu. It's great that your mom is feeling better. Yeah, I know, right? Thanks. I can't believe you went to get that honey all by yourself, Badu. That's amazing. Oh, hey, here's a ring. But I, but I think you look cuter the way you are now, Teddy Ursa. What? <laughs> when I evolve someday, I'll become an Ursa ring. That's what I was told. I sure want to hurry up and evolve soon. So kind of like an XP of Ursa ring and... Uh, I already forgot your name and it was sad. But yeah, from Explorers. Even though Teddy Ursa evolved at the end of, of the... at some point. Honestly, I feel like doing nothing. What are you, a grown-up version of, uh... I forget, Slackoff from... Explorers? I'll do my best. You do too. Extra crispy Eevee. Who lives in this goddamn house? What, is that gonna be me and Gabriel's house? After we move out from our parents. Honestly, that would be kind of a cool mystery dungeon game that follows you from childhood into legendary adulthood. I think that'd be neat. Uh, Terracosta's off and away, it seems. He has a ladle. What about you, Nuzleaf? Nuzleaf is also gone. Doesn't even have a ladle. What a bum. I gave in to temptation, and here I am. But I'm sure now that holding myself back wasn't the right way to go! I'll drink what I want and still work hard to lose weight! That's the plan from now on! <laughs> that impact frame, or not impact frame, but like, just extreme close-up is hilarious. I used to work for a guild, ringing the bell before lunch and all that. Oh, you quit? Why? Ah, uh, the drinks here always hit the spot. There's nothing like them. A revival or what? What the fuck? So basically, that that is a last resort. Did you run out of <laughs> reviver seeds? The drinks here make me want to jump for joy. That yellow fellow from this morning apparently was a traveling Pokemon. He's certainly not someone I've seen around the village before. I think I changed his voice for some reason. <laughs> Time ago, probably quit because of the 90% pay cut. Well, it wasn't really a pay cut. It was just that if you worked at the guild and you did a job, you gave the reward, like, uh, a cut of the money, like, the majority to the guild. So it wasn't like... Considering that Chimiko worked for the guild but didn't do jobs, she probably got paid differently. I'm so glad that he brought Mama Kangaskhan back. It's like... It was like there was a single time, a single game, they made no Mama Kangaskhan. There was a riot. They stormed Nintendo HQ and Chunsoft HQ. And they're like, fine, we promise. We'll put Mama Kangaskhan back in. What should I buy today, hmm? Welcome. Step right up. Um, we actually didn't come to shop today, but to ask you to check something. Gabriel showed Kecleon the object that Amphros dropped. Oh, why if isn't that a connection orb? A connection orb? Yes, yes. All Pokemon have bonds that link them to others, of course. Bonds of friendship or even just acquaintance. Those bonds that link Pokemon together like that can be seen as actual lines connecting Pokemon in a connection orb like this one. Really? You can actually see the relationships between different Pokemon? That's right. If I might ask, did this orb perhaps come from our visitor this morning? Yeah, he dropped it before he left. He said his name was Ampharos. I like that. They just had Raticate in the corner. Um, and I like that. I like how the other characters are being included in these cutscenes. We wanted to give it back to him, but we don't know where he went off to. I thought you might have some idea, so that's why you came to you, Kecleon. Ah, so that was the true identity of our odd visitor this morning. I thought so, but I'm afraid that I have little better idea than you about where he may be right now. 
I can tell you, however, that normally it is only shopkeepers like myself or members of Lively Town's Expedition Society who carry connection orbs. What? The Expedition Society? Hey, if you're looking for that Amphros fellow, I passed him a little while ago right near the village gate. Really? Thanks so much! Come on, Neon! I like this. I like the vibes of this game, and I also really, really like that it's not going super fast. Like, I don't know, it's just, it's nice. It just, it feels nice. Well, let's go find Ampharos. Oh, Terracosta. Ah, Pops! Mo, oh, if it isn't Gabriel. What are you doing out here, child? We're looking for someone. Hey, Pops, have you seen a tall yellow Pokemon staggering around here? A staggering yellow Pokemon? Well, now that you mention it, there was someone a bit like that. I passed him on my way back from the Orin Orchard. Let me see. Ah, yes, I'm pretty sure he was headed toward Polyrath River. Was he? Thanks, Pops! Don't tell me you're thinking of going to Polyrath River after him. I forbid it. That's no place for children. Polyrath River is at the den of a bunch of real rough Pokemon. The three Polyrath brothers. It's dangerous for strangers to wander into a place like that. I understand, Pops. Do you really? I'm telling you not to go. I don't want to hear even a whisper about you going to a place like that. Not a one. I know, I know. Immediately turns to me. So we're going to go there, right? Boy, my po old pops was sure against us going. So let's get going to Polyrath River. What? Well, we wanted to give Amphros back his connection orb, right? And besides, there's something I've really got to ask him. So let's go. My old pops will never know. We're off to Polyrath River. <laughs> he, in fact, did not understand, <laughs> says chat. Ooh. This is a neat little ditty. I like it. I'm going to be the Emera holder. All Emera will be mine. Damn it! I didn't get to the Emera in time! The world is nothing but a din of sin. Quit sigh waving me! I'm just a little Riolo, leave me alone! I'm just a Riolu, please leave me alone. Haha, <laughs> you fail. Die. Leave him alone! We probably should have brought more elixirs. Oh, hello. What's a Luxio like you doing here? Holy shit! All right, that's mildly horrifying. I'll let her raise. I ate an apple and not an orange berry. I am a fool. A completely wrong thing as well. I am out of it right now. Well, we got a replacement apple. Super critical for me. But again, this is a song that's definitely like a put on in the background kind of song. It sounds nice, but it's not a punch you in the gut recognizable song. You string shot, my friend. I'm going to kill you. 
flinch harder. Shit. And now I'm free to kill you again. Shit. In stuck status, the Pokemon can't move, but it can still use items and moves. Ah, thank you. I like that allies help you out. Quick attack. And now bite. Go back to meditating on a mountain. Of course, once again, Drowsy appears around children. Oh no, the lobster. It's coming closer. I took the hit for Gabriel. You leave him alone, you son of a bitch. Stop it. Excessive force? Holding a loop of this ex uh, Imra damages nearby enemies with excessive force when you defeat an enemy. <laughs> I'm gonna be the Imra King. Gonna kick my enemy's ass and sing. No. Definitely should have brought more elixirs. Ah, the, the Emera. The Emera. Yes, focus on me. Leave him alone so he can murder you. Type bulldozer as well. I'm building myself an infinity gauntlet looplet. An infinity looplet, if you will. None of us are electric type. Leave me alone. We've only seen one electric... Well, no, there was the Joltik. Haha, <laughs> you fool. Level up for me. I'm becoming a god. <laughs> the theme here is also so calming in contrast to this nightmare of a place. <laughs> I remember hearing a piano version of this song that sounds lovely. I love fan covers of songs or remixes and stuff. I wonder what this is. A cover, a, oh, a cover, a cover looplet. Boulder takes an attack for an ally in a pinch. Uh, my allies already tend to do that a lot. A trap bust orb, don't care, but... Oh, it's just a normal apple. Eh, I guess we can buy an apple for... 20. You leave him alone! He's a fire type, you murderer! I'm going to kill you! Okay, now that we killed somebody in your store, uh, can we buy this apple? Imagine if there was a dungeon that was just one giant Kecleon shop. Every item you pick up is an item that you have to buy unless you want Kecleon to murder you. Ah, neat. He only took one damage from that. Probably because his special uh, defense is probably higher than me. Or maybe it was just luck. Gets tight bulldozed, idiot. We walk through the river of doom. Huh. Neat trick. Prepare to die. You leave him the fuck alone. Oh! Why are all the electric types here to murder me? Die. Oh, hey, yeah, excessive force is a thing that happens now. 
You know what? Max elixir time. Get back in the battle, boy. I also need to remember I can use alliances. Shit. I'm confused now. But Gabriel leveled up, so everything's good. We're coming for you, Joltik. We're coming for you. We're gonna murder you. Time for you to die, little Joltik. I keep forgetting that I can just push my allies around. Welcome to Ally Bullying Simulator. Lullaby. Chance to... Uh, well, either way, we'll give that to you. So that you have a chance to set enemies asleep. It's a gust trap. The Pokemon that sips on this trap will be blown away. If it gets blown to somewhere it can't land, such as the top of a crag or in water, the Pokemon will be warped somewhere else. Well, at least it didn't work. Suck it, trap. Nobody loves you. There was a low tad. We're gonna have to kill him. <laughs> Looks like we're gonna have to kill this guy, Gabriel. Oh, <laughs> fuck yeah! Burn alive, bug boy! Burn to death! Burn to life! Rem uh, reminds me of, like, a... I think it was a slasher film that has the line, Eat shit and live, Bill. <laughs> Wait a second. Uh, we need to go to the left, then. That's all that's left. <laughs> Get it? That's all that's left. <laughs> oh god, Gabriel's going to add murder to his list of crimes. Now, 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 once he becomes a member of the Expedition Society, <laughs> he gets a license to kill. Uh, from Twitch chat, anyway, this game is unfair in a good way in my opinion, but still rough. I've always said since it gives you so many good items and tools it throws at you, uh, difficult situations to test you. Nah, I probably read that incorrectly, read it wonkily. I'm bad at reading. But I, 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 I guess I can understand that. It throws tougher base gameplay at you because it's also throwing more, like, items and resources at you. So I guess it kind of makes sense. Barrage? Motherfucker, yes! But yeah, like, with the Emeras, with the Wands, and just, like, with everything that it throws at you, it does feel a bit better to have difficult situations thrown at you because you also have tools to then deal with that situation. So it makes perfect sense to me that the difficulty would be a bit higher because you also have just overall better stuff. Please don't hit me if the charge. Oh no. We cannot let him hit us. Die. If he hit us with that double charge, we would have been annihilated, I feel like. Hello, Spoink. I'm gonna murder you. I didn't mean to murder him that hard. Now, where are we gonna go? There's the exit, but what if there's treasure up there? What if there's treasure? No, there's just an enemy. Let's go. From... Hmm. This song kind of reminds me of some Tales of Symphonia or Tales of Fantasia songs. A super critical will give to you. 
Ah, and a lullaby. Hmm. Let's see. Do I want to put spend my last egg? Well, why not? Might as well, because it could come in handy to have two attacks smacking the enemy into sleep. Wand expert? Holding a lublet with this Imera makes the effects of wand spread out like a fan. Also, the number of uses remain some, remaining sometimes stays the same. Interesting, but I'll take that attack boost for this dungeon. But mostly because I don't use wands. For some reason, an old Germa line came to mind. Now, don't say swears. Back when Germa was not prolific meme monster that appears everywhere, but a TF tuber. <laughs> Bite has become the power of God! I think Wand Expert gives wands the range of Geo Pebbles. Huh. I do like me some Geo Pebbles, but at the same time, I, I don't really use wands all that much. Like, maybe when I get a bigger bag, if I can get a bigger bag. Imaras are so good! Emeras are probably the best addition in the game. So, well, no, no. The best addition is the scarves being on the player model. The second best change is the Emeras. Big ears. This, uh, location of enemies. Don't care. I will take more health. I'm gonna become a tanky boy. Now my brain went, you want to know what the best kind of change they could make to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon? Let you marry your partner. How dare you disable my vacuum wave. I'll eat you alive, you monster. I cannot fall asleep. I am filled with anger. To fall asleep is to let you live, and we cannot have that. Mine. Ah, big ears again. Here, you use it. Get some get some health on you. No. Man, they're just sending drowsies to die today. Ah, shit. I'm, I'm confused. I'm confused. Help me. I do like that you still have some control of where you go and stuff, even when confused. From Twitch chat, wands are so cool, like a middle point between orbs and throwable items. I'm sure they have their, like, uses. I Like, I don't know. Because <laughs> it does seem to be a more targeted version of orbs. Like, and it seems to replace, like, the sleep seed and stuff. So, like, I don't know. It's like, it's cool. I just, I don't know. I'm not sure. I am but a fool. Uh, I guess we'll keep the Petrify Wand. We can always drop it if we do not want it. Hmm. We have a good amount of things, so I guess we shall stay the course. We still haven't seen Ampharos. Let's go a little farther. Let's go find those uh, wily Polyrath brothers and murder them. You have come to die. Flinch harder! Flinch harder! Prepare to die! My first move missed, but then the barrage kicked in. And then I kicked their ass. Hey, you want barrage, buddy? We're all gonna barrage. I just form a team of sentient... Dizzying payback? What's that? You dare? Prepare to die. What is dizzying payback? 
Makes the attacker confused when a move by this that. Oh, so if they hit me, they have a chance to go blah blah blah. Oh. Ooh. So it is literally payback. Where if they hit me, they can potentially become confused. Ow, you bastard. Ow, you bastard. Yeah, you fool. I think I'm the fool because there's a, a, a barrage of motherfuckers coming my way. I do not... After that one guy whittled down my health, I'm afraid of these guys. Hit me with a charge attack. In the electrify status, moves the Pokemon use will be electric type. Huh. Well, I bulldoze, so fuck off. Please die. You just... <laughs> Any other time. M Wait a minute, this is Polyrath land. That would have been amazing. <laughs> We get electrified before we go to meet up with the brothers. Heliopix! It's only three! But healing, it helps the holder restore HP. So basically, yeah, it's like speeds up the natural recovery, but still. Not like super duper amazing, but kind of nice. <laughs> Whenever I have <laughs> see something about healing, I'm like, how good are you? Every single time I see a new Emera, I'm like, ooh. Every single time I see a new Luplet, ooh! What magical wonders doth beseech me? The magic of discovery. <laughs> We're going to have so many apples to sell to Kecleon when we get home. Is that a bulldoze for the boy I hear? A bulldoze for the boy I hear? We just have to kill a motherfucker and get bulldozed for the boy? Back him with. <laughs> Idiot. One of you has a bulldoze. I want to give it to the boy. And Kecleon doesn't care that we're just fighting in front of him. Let's see. A petrify orb. A cover looplet. Eh, none of these really interest me. This money is mine, die. Hey, a Krabby! It's been a long time since we've seen a Krabby. Let's kill him. Go back to Sharpedo Bluff and blow bubbles. <laughs> you bubble blowing bitch. Dizzying stare. Yeah, so basically the normal. Uh, have you use it. So your special attack goes up -a. Are you prepared to die, little man? <laughs> you thought yourself safe, but you're not. The only safety you will find is in death. We are here to steal your emeras. Another barrage! Ooh, stacking barrage sounds really nice. If only I can find them. Shit! 
But where are the motherfuckers? They're wandering around. Maybe I should have kept those big ears. Die! Prepare to die, lobster. A barrage. You know what? I think that sleep guard can go. And I can upgrade my barrage capabilities. <laughs> we will barrage everyone to death. And a type bulldozer for the boy! Let's see. You know what? Super critical. We'll replace that. Those are the two that were the most important. More barrage. More bulldozer. Oh, the power of murderizing you. Fall asleep, idiot. And then prepare to die. Shit. What the fuck? Please cease your existence. What were you doing there, Gabriel? It was like he wanted to get an angle on the enemy but couldn't, so he's just fr flipping out. Well, but, uh, since we're gonna inevitably run into a boss battle, I should probably... Let's see, how much are you doing? I'll upgrade you as well. Well, not upgrade, but give your power points back. You have such nice music. Ha ha, fool. Imagine if the Imaras could be taken out of dungeons. The world would go to hell. You know, type bulldozer might be good on Gabriel in general more in the future because... Just the fact that he'll be able to do whatever he wants without worry is pretty nice. You bastard, I was going to go for that Emra. Distance? Dodge, oh yeah, it's like, uh, yeah, from far away, I'll just, uh... Let's see, uh, how much da da speed? Then I'll definitely use that. Because we're not being attacked from far away too much. Huh, does this stack? Nope. But it does allow me to nom nom. And status mirror. So yeah, it makes the Pokemon in front of you have the same status condition as uh, when you get one. Uh, I prefer the ones I currently have, so speed! Water gun all you want, I'll kill you. Get nommed alive. Ah, interesting. This one isn't waking up. Normally, sleeping Pokemon wake up when you get near them, unless they're like a boss. Or not, not a boss, but like a very powerful, hey, if you beat this, you get a decent amount of experience kind of, kind of mon. Otherwise, Krabby is just normal sleeping man. And we murdered him in his sleep, like he deserves. Looks like Krabby's back on the menu, boys.
We're getting hungry. Should have brought more apples. And here's another one of those if you got a key you can open, but I don't know where it goes, things. You are painful. Prepare to die. Cease your existence! Guard boost, but what stat do you upgrade? Defense? Then it's definitely for me. Yum. Hello, spoink. Prepare your doom. No emeralds in here. Ha <laughs> ha! Get bulldozed, idiot. String shot me sure. I'll just hit you from over here. Well, you're a weirdo, aren't you? Die. How dare you! Do not lower the power of the boy! Ah, shit. Is a <laughs> May the fuck is coming our way. We cannot let him get it off. Kill him! Oh, I forgot that I had uh, excessive force. Or whatever it's called. Power boost Y. So I'm going to guess that this is the good for you type. Uh, I don't think dizzying payback will be too good and just boosting your normal attacks and stuff should be good, good. Why plan to get hit when we can plan to hit harder? Why is your spark so powerful? And a level up for the boy. And you can learn a move. What move that be? Flame charge. Ooh. Considering that you're never going to use that. Flame charge. Get more uh, attacks in you. So that we can absolutely dominate our face. Hmm. Roll call orb. Because I never intend to be separated from my best bud. Even though this is a mystery dungeon game. And that is... <laughs> that is what the ending is always. Ah, uh, good job. You leveled up your powers. Uh-oh, music cut out. Cutscene time. Look at those puddles. Looks like we've come pretty far in. But we still haven't seen any sign of Amphros, which means that he must be still somewhere farther ahead of us. Or he got so whooped around he went back to the village by accident. Oh well, I guess we'll just have to keep going if we want to find out. Roth! Roth! Holy Roth! Whoa! This is our Tath Roth! Get out of here! Go home, Roth! Um, we're looking for a certain Pokemon. Who cares, Roth? I am Polly Roth, the boss of Polly Roth River. Roth! No, you're not. I'm Polyrath. I'm the real boss of Polyrath River. Rav! No, no, you're not. I'm Polyrath. And I am the real boss of Polyrath River. Rav! Wait a second. What are you guys talking about? What are you talking about? They seem to be fighting one another. At any rate, we're the Polyrath brothers. You better be ready for a rough! Niani, here they go! They look pretty tough, but there are only three of them. We can probably take them. Ah, I wouldn't be so confident. Rough! 
To us, loyal polywag lackeys! What? How many? Pa 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 pa! Polly! There's just one of them? There are three of you, and yet you seem to have only one lackey? We don't have to take a lift from you! Ruff! Take our Ruff! Here it comes! Ruff! Explosions won't happen! I. Oh, aha! Petrified! Oh shit! They already broke out! Never mind, these guys are actually piss easy. It started to rain! Water type moves will be more powerful while fire type moves will be less powerful. The floor will also be diffused. Yeah, th these guys are just. Easy. Why die? All right, flame charge didn't do too much, but hey. Thank you, bulldoze on on Gabriel. Does that make us the boss of <laughs> of uh, Polyraph River now? <laughs> we did it. Now's our chance to get past them. Watch out, Neon! Ruff! Ruff! The Dashing Wanderer has appeared! Ampharos is on the scene! Ampharos! That is quite the sticky spot you were in, my mamai! We cannot let our guards down now, can we? You have to double tap these bitches! Ampharos, you're actually here! Thank goodness, we've been looking for you, you know? Oh, for little old me? You're the children from the village. What reason could you have to search for me? Ah, but before you answer that... Where am I? <laughs> Tell me, where in the world are we? Huh? I'm quite sure I was having a look around the village. But somehow I ended up here before I even knew what happened. He's a silly little man. Save complete. And we're back here at the hill. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you came running after me just to return that connection orb. Yep. We had a harder time finding you than I thought we would, but I'm glad we did. My, my, my. How remiss of me. Imposing such a burden on young children. Hey, Amphros. Are you part of the Expedition Society? <laughs> no, I am not. What? You're not? Huh. That's odd. Huh? I you're not? Right. Uh, that's too bad. I'd heard that Expedition Society members carry a connection orbs like that one, so... Well, I just thought that maybe. Do you perhaps want to join the Expedition Society? Yeah! I definitely want to! Getting to go all over the world and meet all kinds of different Pokémon? And then someday maybe I could even help out with... Completing the world map in the Expedition Society's Pokemon Nexus. That's my real dream. And a fine one it is. I think it is a positively splendid dream. I know, right? It'd be the coolest thing ever. But... But everyone I know says the same thing. They all tell me it's impossible. They all say I can't do anything about it because I'm still just a kid. True, I certainly have heard that children cannot join the Expedition Society. My, my, my. I wonder who decided a thing like that, hmm. But still, perhaps as a junior member of the Expedition Society, there may be something you could do to aid them even now! Well, uh, my, my, my. I guess that settles it. Here, I'll give you these. Uh, junior Expedition badges? How do you just have them? He got his connection orb off the black market. He beat up a Kecleon and took it away. Gabriel and Neon received Junior Expedition badges. And Junior Expedition bags. And Junior Expedition gadgets. 
First off, Junior Expedition Badges. Proof of your membership in the Expedition Society. As junior members only, of course. And your Junior Expedition Bags. Exclusive bags that hold many items only carried by Expedition Society members. And junior members, of course. And finally, Junior Expedition Gadgets. These are essential items for doing the work of Expedition Society members. And junior members, too, of course. But how do you have them if you're not a part of the society? But even if you are only junior members, you can do fine work for the society. One of the most important tasks that the Expedition Society undertakes is investigating problems Pokemon bring to their notice and helping to find a solution. So you two can put on those junior expedition badges and help carry out expeditions for the good of other Pokemon. You may discover Pokemon out in the world who are suffering from some worries. I get it. Then all we need to do is find a way to solve their problems. Yes, solve their problems, and you will also create connections with those Pokemon. And that's where your Junior Expedition Badges come in again. <laughs> well, that's getting to be a mouthful, so I'll leave off the Junior from now on. I hope that you notice that I gave you not just two, but many Expedition Badges. Give an Expedition Badge to a Pokemon you'd like to ally with, and in the future you'll be able to go on adventures together. Go on building allies, and the Expedition Society itself will grow in force. And then we can take over the world! By the by, I shall also entrust your children with my connection orb. We went through all that trouble to get it back to him, and he's like, Ah, you'll keep it. You have the Expedition Gadgets that I gave you earlier. Why don't you try fitting the connection orb into that gadget? Oh, is this a map? Why do you even need to finish the, the, the map in the Pokemon Nexus? It is, isn't it? Indeed it is. An expedition gadget can be triggered by fitting it with a connection orb. And it can show you much more than just a map. It will also let you view the ties between Pokemon and check your expedition list. You can also register your team name using it. Team name? Yes. What do you think? Wouldn't you like a register a name for your very own expedition team? Hey, Neon, what kind of name do you think is good? A team name, huh? Let's see. I have no idea. Hmm. I'm trying to think of a good name. Because let's see... We were... What were we last time? We were something hope last time. There was Team Shining in Rescue Team. Team Lost Light in Explorers. And then I think we were... Something Hope. And... True Hope. We were True Hope in Gates to Infinity. Important to note the prefix for this name is not Team Something, but rather THE Something. All right, so it's not team, da da da. So like in the past games, it would be the shining, <laughs> the true hope, the lost light. So, what should we call our team? The. It also depends on how many letters there are. Hmm. <laughs> the Super Pals? <laughs> A classic, but no. Well, uh, a take on the classic, because there was Team Pokey Pals in the past. Which I think was even like a default fill-in one, in one of the games. Hmm. Trying to think. The... Da, 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 da. My brain is just flitting through tons of name possibilities. Uh, 
Oh, da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Put on my thinking face. Well, first things first, let's see how many, like, letters there are. Not that many. Not all that many. So I can't do something like... <laughs> the Justice League. Hmm, what do you feel is the theme or feel of the game so far? Because I don't know. The la the f like, uh, GTI, the feel was about... Well, I, I guess I named that one pretty good. True Hope. It was about nihilism, hope, and believing. This one? Like, bonds, friendship. That's what I'm getting out of this one. <laughs> Maybe. Let's see. I forget how to spell it because I'm an idiot. The Companions. I'm going to look up how to spell it because I'm an idiot. Yeah, I am a terrible at spelling sometimes. I am Doth Writer, but still. The Companions. I personally feel the theme of this game is empathy. That's fair. I guess because there was like a big, like, uh mini arc about like uh, nobody believing us but Gabriel believing us even though we called him annoying but I think we're going to be the companions I heard the companions over in Whiterun are looking for new members <laughs> the companions over in Serene Village is looking for new members but I like it the companions is the Companions your team name? Yes. The Companions. Yeah, the Companions, huh? Yeah, I like it. Thanks, Neon. Let's try putting it in. <laughs> All right, that's it. All set, are you? Well, then, my young friends, I hope you will use my the, your expedition gadgets wisely to help the many unfortunate Pokemon that you find in the world around you. Thank you so much, Ampharos. But, wait, why did you have all this stuff on you, Amphros? And how come you know so much about the Expedition Society? Oh, <laughs> you'd really like to know? Why hide it? The truth is that I am really... Nah, n not that it matters. I'm super pumped even to get to act like a junior member. That this is it. Starting tomorrow, we'll do our best as Junior Expedition Society members. <laughs> he was like, they didn't let me do my thing. Why didn't they let me do my thing? <laughs> We're definitely gonna show... Um, Neon, y you do want to be a Junior Expedition Society member with me, right? Uh, do I? Yeah, I knew you'd agree. Thanks, Neon. Uh, pushy as usual. But I guess that's okay. As soon as school's out tomorrow, let's go on our first expedition. We're Junior Expedition Society members at last! Well, it looks like my work here is done. It's getting rather late, and your parents must be worried. Trundle on home now. Yeah, we will. Thanks again for everything, Ampharos. See you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> they really do make some sweet kids. Oh, a message for me. Ampharos took out a mysterious gadget. Chief, Chief, you there? Can you hear me? I hear you loud and clear, Dedene. What a relief. I've been trying to get through for ages. I'm, gladly I, I'm glad I finally reached you because I have to ask, What in the world are you thinking, wandering off alone like that? How many times have we told you to bring someone with you? Countless times. Over and over and over. Please, Dedene, take pity. If you keep yelling like that, I think my head will split. Oh, sorry about that. Do you at least know where you are now? Serene Village. <laughs> what? Serene Village? 
That's amazing! You actually managed to arrive at your goal all by yourself? Even a broken clock is right twice a day, but this is... It's practically a miracle! My, 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 how little you think of me. Well, how is it? How do things look there? They look perfectly peaceful. What? Really? Then do you think the information we got was wrong? What information? I cannot say anything for certain. I'll just say that I've checked it out and there doesn't seem to be any more to learn here. I'll be heading back soon. That's, well, it's a bit of a letdown, really. But I understand, sir. I don't imagine that you'll be able to make it back directly, but take care on your way. Until we see you then, beep boop. A letdown, hmm? I suppose it might seem that way to some, but I'm still glad that I came. Serene Village. It's a good place, I think. And the stars look positively stunning from out here. Surely such peace is for the best. And if we were to protect it, we may have quite the task on our hands. Well, I feel like a lot happened. We're three bosses deep and we haven't even made it to like the main story segment. But I'm enjoying it. I'm really enjoying this game. The feel I forgot to do alliance moves again. <laughs> I'm it's going to be a thing again where I'm going to go through the entire game without using the alliance moves. Despite me wanting to. But yeah, I like the characters. I like the vibe. It's just, it's just great. It is a fun, fun time, I'd say. But I do believe that we will stop here as uh, we've gone for a decent amount of time and we became Expedition Junior Society members. Just wonder, like, but I do like that there's a little bit of a mystery going on that we're not all that privy to. So we have a Deoxys that arrived at the planet and doesn't like the vibes. Rayquaza is fleeing the planet and is afraid. A Waylord got turned to stone. There's something in Serene Village that feels discontent on the rise is going to use it. And then right there, Ampharos is working for the Expedition Society and came to Serene Village because they heard something. But I wonder what it is. Could it maybe be that they... Like, I don't know. What could it have been that they were tipped off about? Hmm. But I, all this will be unraveled in the future. But next time, we will wake up as junior society members, go on our first expedition, and just see, th see, 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 see things. See, uh, this is probably where six hours in, and we're probably going to get to the core gameplay loop soon. But that will be it for now. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, I have a link tree, linktr.ee slash neonicywings, that holds links to everything that I do, like an edited content YouTube channel. I swear, edited content will happen eventually if I can wrangle the brain. And then there's links to my streaming YouTube and Twitch channels, depending on whichever you prefer. With all of these streams being uploaded to the YouTube channel for better quality and posterity. Just in case if I stream and something happens to like the internet or YouTube breaks, I have a clean copy of the gameplay and my commentary. Hmm. And then other things I do is if you like my little character in the corner and want to see more similar to it, like, I recently drew my super team and uploaded it to the various sites. You can follow me on those various sites, like Tumblr, DeviantArt, Newgrounds, Blue Sky, Twitter. All over the place. Links to them in my link tree. And then, if you want to read stories that I'm writing, I'm actually doing writing again. Break down that writer's block. You can read some story that I'm doff writing. I need to do more writing. And then, for the supremely kind and well-off in this hell world, there is a link to my Patreon, which is basically just a little donation bucket for those that can afford it. 
But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Remember, be you, be true, be happy, but most importantly, stay kind and stay hydrated. I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.